open, no invite needed with Juggalos. Been hyped this evening, feeding for music, more guests than topics. No drama, no bullshit, no fake news, no nonsense, no grim logic. Only fam knowledge and dropping the raw with some platforms and artists. Bought a house where you'll never see the bottle stop. The beef tigers off the leash, and if it's beef, you gotta see the final bottle pause. The diamonds are raining, defining the greatness the carnival provides. Welcome to the bottle house, now get your ass inside. Ladies! Yo, what up, y'all? It's your boy, the Beef Tiger, Bartle Boss himself, and uh, it's Wednesday night. It's time for the Bartle House. Uh, if you guys haven't seen the show before, I see a couple new faces in the chat, uh, as well as some very familiar faces. We interview artists here. We're all about the underground and positivity. Um, tonight, special guest, 216 Zay. I'm super excited for this one. Uh, I see a lot of the Ghost House Entertainment family in the chat already uh super fresh uh it's gonna be a good time we're gonna interview zay we're gonna little learn a little bit more about him and his music uh we're gonna listen to some of his tracks and, and music videos as well as peeping out some other people in the underground that need some light shed on them uh if you i'm not playing your music uh everybody i play i ask for permission if i'm not playing your music hit me up and we'll definitely get work on getting you on the show whether interview music whatever that being said, I know it was a long ass intro. Let's bring on the guest of uh, the man of the hour, our special guest tonight, 216 Zay. Yo, what up, my guy? What up? How you doing, man? Good, good. Welcome to the fucking Bartle House. Uh, I know I've been trying to get you on here for a hot minute. Oh, yeah, bro. At least a year, right? It's almost. Hell yeah, bro. I mean, I, yeah. I so I. I think it was about a year when I like just found your music and, and, uh, I was, I was really digging it and I'm like, I got to reach out. I, I got to get them on. Um, I appreciate that, bro. For the people that don't know who you are, tell us a little bit about you. So I go by 216A. Um, you can Google that simple, simply just like that 216ZAY and you're going to see all kinds of shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm from the Cleveland area. Um, I've been making music for about five years, but I've been like, you know, reciting songs, you know, hearing them and taking them in and, you know, reciting them since I can remember, you know what I mean? So I feel like that's kind of, that's a little built in on me. I just love music, you know? Hell yeah. yeah. Um, now do you predominantly do like just written music or do you freestyle? Like what, what type of style would you categorize your music as? Um, I don't know. I, I couldn't say I'd put myself in a box at all. Cause I'm, um, you know, I can harmonize, I can sing a little bit. I'm not like a singer, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, I can't really put it in a box. That's something you kind of have to listen to like at least five to eight tracks to generalize. You know what I mean? Sure. Cause I know, uh, I know I've, I've heard a lot of your tracks. I've also seen you've done quite a few ciphers. Uh, I saw you just recently posted, about a new one coming out here soon too. Yeah, I'm oh. looking for a Cleveland Curse Cipher uh, four right now. So what it is, it's generally four to six artists going together back to back on a music video. So um, it's a good way to you know get the underground involved. You know what I mean? Get some new people on the next one and network with everybody. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah! So I just kind of try yeah. to keep that moving about once a year. <laughs> I mean, so let's let's start back at the beginning, bro. Like, what got you in, interested in music? What got you started in the rap? Um, I was. Uh, are you familiar with the Eminem and Royce to Five Nine album, Bad Meets Evil? I am completely illiterate to music. I don't know why I run this show, but uh, oh, wow. I live under a rock, bro. I know Man. Eminem. I know who Eminem is, but uh, okay. You know, I gotta admit, I did fall into that whole fuck Eminem beef thing back in the day with the juggalo, <laughs> you know, the juggalo right. shit. No, I feel it. But um, really, I was just hanging out with my homies. Um, and I, I, I was just drunk talking shit, and I was just spitting it. 
like while it was coming just because i knew the words and they were like dude you can actually spit for real and i was like ah, i'm just drunk bro i'm just kicking it you know nothing crazy and then i just started recording he's like nah for real he just hop on some shit and then i started making music with him he's now um shout out cody manson he's now rocking with cody man you know he's been rocking with cody for years it's been like probably 12 fucking years or something like that Hell yeah. so those are my boys shout out keith stone uh, he he helped show me the way a little bit, show me how to work the, the recording process, you know what I mean? Things of that nature. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, that's how, bro. Just fucking drunk rapping in a fucking basement. Hell yeah, <laughs> man. How long, how long have you been doing, like, the rap stuff professionally or seriously? Professionally, about, about five years. It was uh, April, April 2019. Hell yeah, bro. I mean... Yeah. That's awesome, bro. And and like you said, you do it uh, predominantly in Cleveland. Are there are there like stomping grounds that you hit all the time? You know, is there like the the, the regular spots? Well, I'm not gonna lie. The Cleveland music scene is weird because it's clicky, mm-hmm. just like a few other. There's there's other cities in Ohio like that. Um, I don't get shows in Cleveland, bro. I get like at all. Nobody they don't fuck with it. I go. Like the, the whole fan base is a whole different thing. It's like the dad hat cool kid music down here. It's like they get all these packed ass shows, and I'm like, that's beautiful, but it ain't my it's not my niche. So I don't want to even try to hop in that just to get, you know what I mean? Something I don't I don't want that. So okay. I get shows, I get blessed in Akron and Kent more often than anything else. Akron. Um, and Kent. but you know, I've landed Indiana shows. I've been I'll go fucking anywhere. Just gotta, you know, gotta make it make sense and pop it off you know do you have like a favorite venue you like to perform in um <clears throat> i don't know if i have a favorite venue um because i'm not like uh i don't have like stage preferences and things like that as long as i got like eight feet i can move around 12 feet i'm good but um sure. i think the winchester and lakewood is it's like a real big stage you know what i mean a really nice size floor Mm-hmm. Um, but um, the vortex in Akron is probably where I'm most at home. Hell yeah, I would say. But uh, yeah, the Winchester is crazy. It's you Google look it up, dude. It's really nice. We have a really nice one here in Pennsylvania called uh, the Reverb, and and the stage is so fucking big. And uh, like I love it when the clowns come because it's it's like short and wide, so it, it really doesn't. If you want Fago, you're gonna be in Fago. It doesn't matter yeah. where you're at. You're going to be in Faco. Uh, it's Hell funny because yeah. there's a bar like dead shot back from the stage. So they always have to like put shit up so that the bottles don't smack. Like they don't smash the <laughs> bars. Just... Wow. It's great. It's a great venue. Um, oh, yeah. Hell yeah! Let's. Uh, I'm gonna kick it over to one of your songs now. I have a lot of your more recent songs, but I had to play this one because this is the first song I heard of yours, and probably my favorite song I've heard so far. Um, mm-hmm. And it, it has that attitude that I feel like really sums up some of your music, um, especially like some of your older stuff. Uh, so we're mm-hmm. gonna peep out "Quiet Tight," which is with. Uh, you did this one with the homie. I don't know if I have it here. There's an album version. If you prefer to play the album version. Oh yeah, I think I have the album album version here. Yeah. Hell yeah. Fine. So this is Quiet Titan. Let's make us a little bigger. Hell yeah. Talking about I got some like I'll just be like this in Got my head down, hoodie up. I don't really say shit. I'm a snap. If you try to play me on some lame shit, I'm a quiet type. Blow up in your face like some dynamite. Quiet type. Blow up in your face like some dynamite. I was hot headed in the classroom. Gotta take my pill because it's past noon. Anxiety meds made me wanna do a suicide in the bathroom. Yeah. They say I'm a nut, no cashew. Pussy nigga, who asked you? I see your eye, but knock on the door. If he to open, I'ma blast through. I'm a bad dude, whole team got it tattooed They don't want me in the venue, cause they fear what I can do <laughs> Yeah, niggas are shook, fucking with me, take a page off the book Wait, what? Yeah, fucking with me, take a page off the book uh, You come to Ohio and get your chain snatched Then you have a cop, bring 
your chain back You must be bluffing, homie Like where your brain at You screaming west side And twist your fingers like you bang that They gon' find you laying on the train tracks That's my alibi, I'll say I left Then I came back I just went to Mickey D's for a late snack Thought I smelled beef, but it was fake You a straight rat Got my pussy down, hoodie up I don't really say shit I'ma snap if you try to play me on some lame shit I'm the quiet type, blow up in your face Like some dynamite Quiet type, blow up in your face Like some dynamite Take down, hoodie Yeah. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah, that's what's up. Man, I, I, I that was like probably the first ho- song I ever heard, and I think one of the first songs I ever played on here. Wow. Man, uh, <laughs> yeah, man. Good Hell shit. Yeah. And uh, just uh, throwing this out there for y'all in the chat. Uh, we, we're a no drama channel. If you come in, start talking sideways, you're immediately going to get fucking hidden. We don't do that here. Yeah, no uh, whole shit. Hell yeah. But, uh, right. My brain just completely shut off. It'd be like, you know, mine's still waking back up. I took a little nap and shit. Oh, I did that earlier. <laughs> you know, I should have been working on the channel. I took a nap. Uh, oh, you're good. it'd be like that sometimes. Uh, yeah. Ryan Lovejoy says, How it be was first one I heard. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Super but, uh, recent. So you've been doing it on your own for for quite a bit here. Um, tell me a little bit about you know before we'll get into Ghost House. I definitely want to talk about Ghost House, but like, what was it like previous to that on you know putting your music out? I'm sorry. What, what's? <laughs> oh, you're good. So I what <laughs> like previous to Ghost House? Like, what was it like? You know, producing your music. Um. <clears throat> Well, I can say um, the process is the same um, versus I did re- actually relapse on alcohol after five years. I'm not recommending it or telling people to, oh, just drink a little. No, if you shouldn't be drinking, don't be drinking. I quit for six years because I almost overdosed. Um, but I did pick back up um, a couple years ago. So that's the only thing that's really changed is I'm drinking again. You know what I mean? Like, right. um, Ghost House has helped me grow as an artist a lot already. You know what I mean? But as far as the recording process, it's you know that's the same thing. But um, it helps. It helps structure my career now, as opposed to just me running off my own discipline. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Sometimes you just need a little extra push. You know what I mean? A little motivation. You know, things of that nature. Ghost House has done that for me. So. Well, uh, I- like you were saying, like where you're at in uh, Cleveland, it's very clicky. Like how, how did you go about like booking venues and, 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 you know, is there anybody that like really helped you along the way? Yes, I have, I have a couple of my homies that are promoters and um, when they see fit, you know what I'm saying? I, I get blessed here and there. Other than that, it's all hard work. You know what I'm saying? being in the right place at the right time or performing the right place and having the fucking the promoters like, Hey, that was pretty dope, bro. And then you might get hit up a month later about an ex- another show. Mm-hmm. So you guys got to make sure for all the artists out there, if you're getting booked on a show, I don't care if there's 30 people or 300, your, your job is to go up there and rip that shit and tell you know what I mean? Tell them how you feel, all that. Like mm-hmm. you gotta just handle it no matter what. Uh, this is interesting. Uh, you know, I have a few uh, artist homies, and they and they tout uh, the ideology of uh, not paying to play. What are mm. your opinions on pay to play and uh, paying to to <coughs> perform at shows? Okay. Um, pay to play makes sense when the money makes sense. So, if I hear If I hear an artist that was more popping in 2008 than he is right now, but he's coming to fucking Akron and his slots are $400, Zay is not doing it. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like, 
if they're up here in their career, it's like different, but it's all about what you want to get out of that show. Because if 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 every show in Cleveland was a fifty dollar pay to pay, I'm probably gonna pay to play two or three of them a month. Cause it's a fucking show, you know, but coming out of pocket, a certain amount of money just to pay, pay off those artists. You know what I mean? Right. Before you even get in the building, it's kind of, sometimes it'll fuck you. Cause that's the turnout. The turnout is not going to be fulfilled all the way, unless you're really like off in some merch, you know what I'm saying? Right. So if you're not on your shit and you don't got a bunch of merch. It's not going to be worth it for you. There was like a, a big controversy with the the I think it was Jug Ohio, where they did like the bidding for a spot yeah. uh, to play on the show. What was your opinion on on that whole thing? <laughs> Next. Next, that's fine, bro. Next. If you don't want to answer anything, I'm not gonna force you. You don't want to hear it. We're not a fucking <laughs> we're not that kind of channel here. We're not a gotcha right. channel. Um Hell yeah. Um, so let's talk a little bit about Ghost House, man. How did you get hooked up with McGruber in the first place? McGruber had reached out to me, um, I believe last year before the gathering, we've been uh, associating, you know what I mean? And then I got to meet him at the gathering. I saw him in his tent. I just saw this big, tall motherfucker standing off in the cut next to the fucking stage. And I was like, is that McGruber? I fucking walked up. I was like, got up. We chopped it up for a while. You know, it's like raining outside. People are coming in and out the tent, buying some CDs. Um, it was cool. Some shirts. And um, we linked up. We got a level headed. You know what I mean? We kind of like shared how we felt about the music scene and this and that and blah, blah, blah. Future future possible plans, things of that nature. Um, and then, yeah, we just linked up, man. And it's Ghost House now. Yeah. I, it's I really think just like, you know, just happened. The first time I met McGruber, I... You know, right when Tierra started doing Twitch, uh, I was I was making it a thing. I had to be on everyone, and and that's kind of, McGruber was always in there, uh, talking about this Ghostly Underground One mixtape yeah. that he was working on, and uh, I was super excited <laughs> for it when he explained it. Uh, I've always been a big Tierra fan, okay. and um, I I just you know I, I we ended I ended up reaching out. We did a whole like preview of. Ghost of the Underground One, where we played a few of the tracks. Uh, McGruber's always been super fucking nice, and uh, he's been he blew up in the past like year, year and a half with this he's whole Ghost House work, thing. Man. He puts in a lot of work. That man barely sleeps. Hell yeah! Now, yeah. I, what, do you keep in contact with the other Ghost House uh, members? Do you do you collab quite often with them, or is it kind of like we, you all kind of do your own thing? Um, I'm not, so like I'm in Ohio. Um, I'm not, um, I've never met any of them in person even, you know what I mean? As, as far as everywhere I've been, um, they're, you know, some of them are in Michigan. So I guess we're, we're kind of doing our own thing. There's a, you know, there, there's a, there's a chat. Um, uh, we're not really like, we don't talk every day, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. everyone kind of just he's cooking this over here this guy's got all this shit going on fucking ants ants doing this you know what i mean so it's right. just like yeah everybody's kind of just handling business you know andrew Ponix is doing all got his shit all his shit coming i think he's got another one dropping on the 22nd yeah i was so excited when andrew got signed because i've i've known andrew for quite a time before he signed oh, yeah. a ghost house he actually used to hang out in our discord and uh, he was part of our friend circle. So, I, you know, me and Andrew, we know each other. Uh, bro, love you, Andrew. If you're watching, I know you're watching. I see you in the chat. Um, that boy. Hell yeah. I mean, he's just watching him like put together music is insane. Yeah. He cooks, dude. Hell yeah. Um, now getting back to your music, you've worked with uh, a handful of artists. What would you who would you say is like some of your favorite artists that you've worked with? <clears throat> favorite artists that I've worked with, like who's a music whose music do I maybe appreciate more type favorite or who's closer to me as a person or how however you want to answer that, my guy. Hmm. That's a really like Wow, I don't know, man. I it's hard for me to put artists in favorites because I appreciate all of them for what they offer. 
Right. You know well, I mean? mean, like maybe like broad strokes. You don't have to be like this one artist is my all-time right. favorite. It's just like, like I just, I'm so tight with so many people that you know what I mean. I that feel, I'm I like, oh it, man, they didn't fucking think of me, dude. It's like I did, bro. I thought of you. Um, hell yeah. I just had a flash of like thirty. You know what I mean? Like thirty people. Oh. Like, brrr. so I don't know. Uh, let me say, Apollo Exodus is definitely. I'm gonna say one or top one or two because. He has such good energy and vibes and his drive to get where he got in so little, such little time, dude, that kid is taking shit over. So uh, yeah. shout out Apollo Exodus. I've never, I've never seen, I've never threw someone a ball and watched them run with it so fast. You know what I'm saying? This kid went. Meow. So Apollo's the homie always will be wide out. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you're hip to wide out. Yeah. He, um, he's a, he's a great fucking lyricist, bro. He be saying some shit that has you have to re, you know you have to listen three three times back to back just to like catch the metaphors and you're like mm-hmm. yo this motherfucker really just said this so white out is great for like you know shit like that and helping make a track what it is um, and I'm gonna go top three I'm gonna say my homie I'm gonna say Foom from, uh, from Cleveland too um, he's on two of the two or three of the Cleveland I think two of the Cleveland Curse Cyphers yeah he's on Cleveland Curse two and three and Oh my God. He just, he's, he's another one that's uh, old school hip hop influenced heavily. So that's why I appreciate his art so much because you, you feel that you can hear the nineties in him. You know what I mean? Right. He raps. Yeah. yeah. I love that too. Like there's so, our scene is so like diverse. Cause we have like, you know, the, the choppy, like, I don't want to say like Ouija, but like, you know, the trap music yeah. style rappers we have uh, definitely some old hip-hop heads uh you know the homie knowledge i saw in the chat uh definitely has that hip-hop sound um and then you know there's so much oh yeah but uh let's uh let's throw it over to another song here uh and then yeah let's see what do we have next up we have this is how it be this is you featuring cmc and then you want to tell us about the song before we uh hop right into it nope this is just two cleveland motherfuckers talking shit <laughs> wait, was, was this the first was this the first one you did on ghost house yes yes i think so i think so but uh yes yeah, how it be i think this is the one ryan lovejoy said was his first one so uh this one's for you ryan second single produced by baby who works with scum also Break out. This is how it be. I'ma pull a gripping on that pine. And that's just how it be. I might take your bitch and make a mine. And that's just how it be. Talking facts like Miles Garrett catching pine. And that's just how it be. Billy P is the greatest of all time. And that's just how it be. I'ma pull a gripping on that pine. And that's just how it be. I might take your bitch and make a mine. And that's just how it be. Talking facts like Miles Garrett catching pine. And that's just how it be. Billy P is the greatest of all time. Ghost house entertainment, yeah, I got picked up. West side, Cleveland, go figure, now we clicked up. Smoking blood, talking shit with CMC. We just speaking facts, I don't even need no beat. We just ride out, if you fuck around, you gon' find out. I ain't not, never dug a hole, I couldn't climb out. Hate to see me doing good, so they dropping dimes now. Penny for your thoughts, kill yourself, Amy Winehouse. I took a lot of losses, but now I'm on some boss shit. Swear to God, I'll make it, yo, no matter what it cost it. I'll be in the gym, no CrossFit. Ready for you pussies, tryna start shit. Ay. And that's just how it be. I'ma pull up gripping on that line. And that's just how it be. I might take your bitch and make a mine. And that's just how it be. Talking facts like Miles Garrett catching pine. And that's just how it be. G-O-E-T is the greatest of all time. And that's just how it be. I'ma pull up gripping on that line. And that's just how it be. I might take your bitch and make a mine. And that's just how it be. Talking facts like Miles Garrett catching pine. And that's just how it be. G-O-E-T is the greatest of all time. Look, I be talking shit like I'm a toilet bowl. It's diarrhea of the mouth till I destroy the flow. Cause they and I be teaming up just like the Harlem Heat. And spin a Rooney on the boonie like it's Booker T. We getting loony, better tune in for the lunacy. I cook you up inside the kitchen, you just do to me. You and see, well maybe you should move and get to doing things. Or else I'll probably set up your body and start the eulogy. This is how it be. 
I'ma pull up crimping on that vine. And that's just how it be. I might take your bitch and make a mine. And that's just how it be. Fucking facts like Miles Garrett catching vine. And that's just how it be. Only he is the greatest of all time. And that's just how it be. I'ma pull up crimping on that vine. And that's just how it be. I might take your bitch and make a mine. And that's just how it be. Fucking facts like Miles Garrett catching vine. And that's just how it be. Only he is the greatest of all time. Yeah. That's what's up. Hell yeah, man. How it be. Uh super fresh. Now, was there like I know you said, you know, doing Ghost House hasn't, you know, it doesn't change a lot, but it has changed a few things. Um do you, does uh does Ghost House help out with like the production side of things or do you still do all that kind of on your own? Oh yeah, we get it handled, you know. One way or another, especially when it comes to art, because he can he cooks. You know what I'm saying. So if anybody ever needs art, I know I know you do art also. Your your shit's dope. But I I, I edit I edit pictures. I can't I can't like I'm right. like oh you, you got dope edits though. So. What's the X Men that he he can like manipulate fire, but he can't create fire. That's kind no. of where I'm at, man. I can manipulate pictures, but I can't create. Hell yeah. Um, well, go buy a picture, uh, some cover art from Ghost House Entertainment, <laughs> and then have your boy edit that shit. <laughs> Boom. Hell yeah. Well, I've been it. wanting to reach out because I've been looking at trying to get a logo, a new logo and shit. But um, Yeah, he'll look you up, bro. Let's, let's talk about this a little bit here. Uh, this was your announcement flyer for the Ghost House uh, a little while ago, but it features, you know, the owl, which is very prominent in a lot of your merch a lot of your uh music mm -hmm. the i know the owl references to an old podcast i don't know if there's are they still <laughs> around uh the outcast owls yeah i see i was uh the outcast owls if we're gonna get into that that was previously it's an entity you know what i mean mm -hmm. before we were on the internet with it so this has been a whole uh, that's a whole ass thing right there like i right. can't even can't even say enough but um my owl is for nictophiliac entertainment which when i made that it's um i was kind of like trying to express the night owl portion of myself you know what i mean because i'm a night owl i don't sleep much that's why his eyes his, his one eye is bugged out he's fucking tired and um Nyctophiliac means like to find comfort in the night and shit like that. <clears throat> so that's what that is, bro. It's that simple. So, you know, not not fully connected to the outcast owls, but kind of. Uh, if, if there's a story there we don't want to talk about, that's fine, too. Wait, talk about what? So I was reading like, the comments for a second. I didn't see. I forgot. What did you say, bud? Yeah, I, I, sorry, that's a long ass comment. After you done a minute, uh, <laughs> on my whole dick. What are you saying, bro? Yeah. Uh, so, so is it like so? The are you affiliated with the Outcast Owls, or it just so happens that y'all use the same logo, same? Um. Well, they don't use my logo unless they want to grab some merch real quick. You know what okay. I mean? But um, I, they they have their whole own shit. They got a whole web store. They got you know. Okay. That's a whole nother thing. All right. Yeah. The only re the only thing I know about them is we kind of got thrust in front of them when when the whole CPN Chuck Reeves debacle happened. Because unfortunately, we were at the center of all that, and I'm so upset we were at the center of all that. Uh, we were we were kind of thrust into the fucking. Uh, we tr we tried we stayed out of that shit though. Uh, but that right. was the only thing I really knew about. Sorry, I I can't read. Um, but anyway, uh, <laughs> y'all making me fucking multitask tonight. And I'm telling not, you, dude, it it's not gonna not, stop. Uh, it's fine. I, you know, they drive. I'll just keep banning them and driving in more views. Dude, uh, they got like twenty fucking. They got twenty emails each for each computer they have. I mean, you that's fine because the, the more views, the more, more people that come in. It, the right. Better I mean, the yeah. Algorithm, the better the algorithm. So y'all just helping push my right. guy. Uh, you hate further, me all I want. Okay. Run that shit up, ho. Run it, yeah. But uh, anyway, fuck all that. Um, 
I forgot what I was fucking tight, but yeah, the, the logo, very interesting. And then of course you use the hashtag we out here, which is uh really fucking fresh, but I, I definitely heard that uh, before. Um, bro, my, my, I feel like my brain is putting right now. Yeah. Let, let, let's talk about something completely fucking different. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to ask you a pro, uh, maybe some opinions about some shit in the, in the scene. Okay. Y'all don't have to, you don't have to answer. You don't have to throw yourself in front of the bus, but, uh, I would love getting people's opinions on the shit. Uh, it does seem like lately a lot of, a lot of the scene is not gatekeeping, but like there's a new crop of like juggalos out there. And not all of them are, you know, very humble about it or, you know, but yeah. uh, there seems to be some division with uh, these people that are coming in as opposed to people that have been in, you know, uh, what, what's your opinion on all of, all of that? You don't have to say names. I'm not going to say names, but. Um, <clears throat> so to the artists just now coming in that I've noticed that are channeling their inner clicky, I'm more juggalo than you type shit. Or I hate that I'm song. not. Oh, well, I'm a thuggalo. Oh, I started out as a thuggalo. What the fuck are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? Right. Like that's I, it. I, that's I the can't. Fuck. Like, what do you mean? No, no hate to the thuggalo show, guys. But I can't stand the term thuggalo being thrown around like that all the fucking time. Right. And I'm just like, no, you're fucking not either. Like, <laughs> let's not even go there. No, you're not. Like, no, you're not. So it's I, like I, it's I, annoying to me. That's all I can say about, it. especially the artist, because if you're coming in here new. As a non juggalo, cool, let's jug, bro. Like, kick right. it, come to the gathering, meet me at the show. But if you're a fucking artist like that, dude, uh, I'm a thuggalo right now. Like, where'd you, who, who are you, bud? You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't gatekeep, I don't say this and that, but I know who I'm not gonna fuck with. Right. You know what I mean? Like, that's on them. 100%. But, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I've been saying lately, like, uh, I feel like pe people need to put, like, people are flexing. And like not, you know, not being like coming into it with respect, you know, they're right. they're coming in, they're fucking bragging about this, that, and the other, or uh, right. they're beefing with each other, which is fucking crazy. Uh, Happens to me all the time. Man, I I don't get it. Like, yeah, dude, the lack of respect and dignity that people have these days is so astounding that they can't even comprehend their own bullshit. You know what I, I mean? Know. It's just it's like, and then if they get one person to buy it, they got someone sitting next to them. Oh, this is what I think. I'm right, right? They're like, yeah, you're right. Yeah. They pat them on their back. Like, dude, you're fucking wrong as hell for everything you do. Like, what do you, there's no, there's nothing. The morals are gone, dude. And no respect. Right. There's, you could fucking shed blood for someone out here these days. They'll turn around and fucking say some whack ass shit. You know what I mean? Like, try to ruin my whole shit. It's all like gotcha culture now too. Like, like I said, yeah, this isn't a gotcha show, but like, I feel like that's what it is. Is everybody's just trying to to find a reason why why you gotta hate on each other instead right. of like, you know family, which is what it's you know supposed to be about. It's supposed to be right. about connecting on you know common ground. Facts, bro. And it's very hard to do anymore when nobody's standing on the same ground. They're just on their fucking computer talking shit. <laughs> right. Like, right. Dude, what do we? What are we here for, bro? This is you want to be here and be mad the rest of your life? Like, why are we? Why, okay, well, I'm not doing that. I'm gonna find a good group of people like Ghost House and grow and go this way. Right. You know, you know what I mean? I'm cool. Yo, what up, Crow <laughs> in the chat? Fuck yeah! Anybody up, who hasn't bro? checked out Crow, uh, it, it, this might oh, this might not be the Crow I know. Uh, if it isn't, bro, my bad. But I'm gonna plug my bro, my boy Crow. Uh, he runs a YouTube channel where he does covers on all kinds of music, including ICP, Twisted, and rock music, uh, all kinds of shit. Super fresh. Check him out. Um, okay. But do you have any like advice for any artists coming in the scene who might, you know, either coming from another scene or just starting out? Uh, any advice on how to how to approach the scene and coming in? Um. Well, it depends on what scene the artist is trying to get into. You know what I mean? Um, there's no way to be ready for a new scene. So if you're just if you're just been local forever and you're just you know hitting local shit, you don't, and you don't even have a scene or a niche or a general sound, 
you're just going to be bouncing around until you find your people. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, man. It's like, but it, it depends. Because some people put themselves in a box and they're like, I'm a this and that, or I'm a mm -hmm. juggalo rapper. And it's like, I haven't done that. You know what I mean? So it's like, I'm not on my songs, whoop, whoop, and all this shit. I don't, I don't corner that. I just make right. music. It's very you know what I mean? It's interesting. Like I, I was just having this uh, conversation in the comments. Uh, the homie Stray posted about like, does people consider him horrorcore? And uh, I was saying like, it's hard to classify anybody anymore because you know our scene has like blended together so much. And and right. there's like, it's I hate putting anybody in a box. And anytime I call somebody something, it's always the wrong one. Um, yeah. So I, I just kind of stick to the generic underground at this point. <laughs> right. Um, how would you best classify like where you're at on the spectrum? Um, I feel like I'm more of a juggalo that raps. I'm not a juggalo rapper like Clockwork E and them. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Clockwork E. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to go full blown like you know what I mean? Doing something on purpose for the sake of doing it on purpose. I'm going to, I'm going to make music and radiate the people that I want to hear my message tenfold. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't care if you're a juggalo or a fucking metal head. You know, I got like corn samples and shit. I just, I just make music. Sure. So how do you, how do you approach like songwriting? Like, is there, is there like a certain, like, do you, do you like write things that come from like, feelings and in emotion or or is it more generally like that's generally what it is unless unless on the song like say i'm just sitting here sipping on a beer um i record here you know what i'm saying so it's mm -hmm. like really easy for me to just turn around real quick and just make a song in like half an hour an hour um so i'll probably crack a beer you know start writing the hook and um once the hook's done it's like the hook is like where I kind of like I, I lock in, you know what I mean? I'm like, all right, let me make a banger real quick or make this as good as I can, bro. Like I'm just a, I'm a I'm a human, I'm an artist. I try to do as good as I can per song, blah blah blah, all that. Um so once I lock in on the hook, the hook's done, cool. Then it just kind of flows, dude. Like once I get to writing my verses, I go like I write two bars at a time, four bars at a time if I don't stop it, like. And then I record it, boom, boom, boom. And it's all, I have like 20, like 24 stems and layers to be mixed down for the final copy. You know what I mean? Sure. So by the time I finish a song, it's memorized because I don't spit it a hundred times because I went four, four, four. I rap that 20 times, eight bars, 12 bars, 16 bars, the song's done. You know what I mean? That's, gener yeah. that's my general consensus of how the ball rolls. Now, when you when you go to perform those songs, then do you have like, do you have rituals when you go up on stage, or or is it just like deep breath, hop on stage, do your thing? Yep, it's just it's just me being. I'm like calm the whole time, and like I'm good. And then when someone walks up to me, like, are you excited or something like that? Then I get a little excited. Cause I'm like, yeah, I guess I am, but I'm really just like doing my shit. You know what I mean? Right. So it's not like uh, I'm like amped up, like going crazy the whole time. I'm just waiting my turn. <laughs> it's like, all right, my turn. What would you say is like the best part of performing and maybe even what's the worst part of, you know, doing performances? The worst part. <laughs> we talking to Andrew Bonnie. Oh, that's Bobby. Part... Bobby. Bobby gets a pass. <laughs> Bo Bobby knows. Bobby, behave yourself, though. Bobby. Uh, oh, damn. Bobby. Um. So I say the best part of performing would under would probably be understanding the crowd is fucking with you. Like when you're getting feedback at the end of a song before you have to say make some fucking noise or anything like that. That's probably the best because you under like they they let you know like yo that was dope dude good shit. But like the worst part is probably when you're in there, you haven't ate all day because you're fucking drove so far and your stomach's starting to hurt, you're dehydrated and there's 10 people in the building in some weird city you've never been in. Then you fucking forget your words. That's about as bad as it gets. <laughs> it's just like, it can feel pretty hellish sometimes. Like if you, if you really had a day, like, uh, -huh. uh 
do you have like a horror story uh type story like that where where you know that was a con that was a like a general average of any bad things that happen at shows sure and they can all happen in one day <laughs> so it's like uh, but, i say dude performing hungry or like dehydrated is not the move like y'all really gotta like take your time you know what i mean like you gotta like take care of yourself for sure it gets hot it gets hot under those lights you know you can be cool and then you hop up there you get all amped up for two songs now you're sweating and the lights are just beating on you now you got to take a hoodie off or some shit and it's like you got to be you got to be locked in oh yeah what i want to hey bobby i'm making you a moderator anybody talk shit in the chat just fucking boot them <laughs> it's the same it's the same two lanes Ah, it's fine. I, I, it's, yeah. it's nice to have an extra set of hands. Right, it's always uh, gonna be fine. And, and Bobby, don't play either. Um, I mean, he plays all the fucking time, but he's the only tr he's the only fucking troll out in the chat. Um, yeah. Anyway, do you have like a specific like peak moment you would say when you perform? Do you have like a specific moment in your head of something that like a performance or like something that happened that really stands out? Um. I wouldn't say this necessarily stands out, but one time I did a Ouija show in Cleveland when I was landing Cleveland shows. And <laughs> I mean, I still right. get them, but I'm just saying. Um, and I was sitting at, I was sitting in my booth. So this was super, it's like, it's like humbling, but it showed me like it, it opened up some kind of light for me. You know what I mean? I'm sitting in my wow. booth. Ouija's got a line at his table. That's like, going around the fucking stairs and down into the fucking venue and shit. And I'm just sitting at my table with my people and I'm making sales before I go on stage. And I was like, dude, that like humbled the fuck out of me. Like, dude, you guys don't even know if I can rap or not. Like I didn't know most of them. You know what I mean? Right. The new people I met that night. It was like, it just made me, it made me feel really good. You know what I mean? Like it just as an artist, I was like not impressed with myself. It just, it was humbling, dude. I was like, thank you so much. Take this free CD for buying all this shit. You know what I mean? Like, right. I try to give back when I'm, when I'm showed love to like that. Hell yeah. So that was a very humbling experience. Like I'm saying Ouija wasn't even at his table yet. Like none of them, there was nobody there. There was just a right. big ass line of people that wanted to buy shit. And I was just like, yo, what? They're all yeah. coming to me. It's always funny when this show first opens too, because everybody be on that merch table. Yeah. I always wait. I always wait until like somebody's performing. I'm like, all right, I can get in quick and get some. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, I bet you know. I bet that's super fresh. But you know, also after you perform, I bet it's super fresh when people come up to you and you know tell them you know you're you you uh crushed expectations. You you killed it. You know. Do you have a, a specific ahead. moment in your mind of uh, anything like that happening? Where, where? I'm sorry, say that one more time, bro. Oh, I get it. You're reading the chat too. Uh, do you have like a moment, like, like a very special moment in your head of like after performing, where somebody's come up to you and you know giving you a fucking giving you your deal? Um, I don't very. I mean, they're all they're all kind of special because that person didn't never had to go out of their way to say anything you know what i mean right um so I, it's special every time i i couldn't take away from somebody i don't know in like southern ohio to insane poetry dapping me up after my set saying yo that was dope you know what i'm saying like oh, yeah. the same poetry and uh, MMT and all that dude scum they were they were they were really good dudes i finally got to meet them yeah i met them for the first time this year uh at a scum show I got there early. I'm fucking waiting outside and scum comes strolling up, smoking a cigarette. Uh, just like any other fucking juggalo. Uh, right. Man, I love those guys that like LSP shows are so different than like other shows because they be out in the crowd the whole fucking show, you know? Right. Um, yeah. So shout out scum. I haven't met insane poetry yet, but I did meet Matt Apelli, and Those guys are also super fucking, you know, down to earth. Hell yeah. Um, let's uh let's play another one of your tracks, bro. Exactly. Let's see what we got here. And then uh, you know, once we get past your tracks, uh, I do have a selection of music from other artists in the scene. So you are uh, okay. welcome to you know hang around, fucking chill. I do not recommend playing Slaughterology because one of your trolls is gonna fucking copyright strike you. 
Oh, I don't have that one. No, I don't do that. I think everything else is like ghost house stuff. Right. So, uh, yeah, I try not to go too far back because I, you know, if I don't get a chance to talk to you ahead of time, I know a lot of artists they end up beefing with some of their older, you know. I've, I've run into that issue more times than fucking not. Yeah. Now, once I leave so, someone in the dirt, they're done. I feel you, bro. It's it's happened to me more I'm times. Right. Than I, more times than I like to fucking admit. Uh. But also, I suck at this, and uh, I never prep anything ahead of time. So, all good, uh, all good, chilling. We we Keep amateur chilling. hour over here. Uh, <laughs> let's let's do spend a night. Hell yeah! Now this one is uh produced by Bank Hard Beats. Uh, absolutely fucking, absolutely wild. Yes, sir. Here we go. She hit the flow, and she moving tight, and she looking right, like a snack, and I wanna bite, let me spend the night. She hit the flow, and she moving tight, and she looking right, like a snack, and I wanna bite, let me spend the night. She hit the flow, and she moving tight, and she looking right, like a snack, and I wanna bite, let me spend the night. She hit the flow, and she moving tight, and she looking right, like a snack, and I wanna bite, let me spend the night. Yeah, let me see them back dimples, baby. Tryna picture where I grip. If you let me hit, maybe I've been chillin' for a minute, throwing dollars on the floor. I'm tryna split it. If you with it, if you ain't, then let me know. I gotta go, go. She a bad little freak, homie. Collar around her neck, it's like they let her off the leash. Now she rubbing on my weapon, like I'm in here with my peace. Think she looking for a blessing, but I'm looking for a leash. Yeah, yeah. And don't be reaching for my chain, bitch Hands all over my chest, it's like I'm laying with my main bitch Piper like a plumber, I am not the one to play with She spent the night twice, now she claiming that she's A's, bitch Shawty working hard, got my pockets assed out Drunk in the trunk like she took the trash out And I don't wanna hear no cop out When you clock out, come and get your box knocked out She hit the flow, and she moving tight And she looking right, like a snack And I wanna bite, let me spend the night She hit the flow, and she moving tight And she looking right, like a snack And I wanna bite, let me spend the night She hit the flow, and she moving tight And she looking right, like a snack And I wanna bite, let me spend the night She hit the flow, and she moving tight And she looking right, like a snack can I wanna bite? Let me spend the night. Yeah. 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 I was muted. Uh hell yeah, bro. Uh who was, yeah. it, who was it that was on uh I know exactly what that's from. Uh who was that uh that was on the track with you? What track? Spend a night. Is that you on both both verses? No, that's just me, bud. Oh man, I I don't know why you sound different in both verses for some reason. There's only one verse. Well, I don't I don't know music. Ignore me. Hook, anyway. hey, hook versus hook. hook. Yeah. Um. What was the what was the uh motivation for uh, Mennonite? Because it's definitely a little different than uh some of your other music. Well, <clears throat> I had a, a homie at a club. He had approached me at my mother's funeral. And we had, I just put her in the ground, bro. And I turn around, this cat's right behind me. And he was like, yo, you got to make some music so I can promote your shit in the club. And I was just like, it was a weird time to say that. But um, that, you know what I mean? I was just like, all right. I've never made like a, like a club banger like that, per se. Um, so that's where, it, that's, that was my inspiration. And things kind of fell through and nothing happened. You know what I mean? There was no promotion, nothing like, you know. Um, <clears throat> um, yeah, that's that, bud. Little strip club track, you know what I mean? Fuck yeah, you definitely channeled your like inner kung fu vampire on that one. Like, like if I closed my eyes and I didn't know it was you, I would have guessed that as a kung fu vampire track. Uh, definitely like a club club style beat. Was it? Uh, was it different? Like adapting to that? Uh, compared to your other music. No, it was just another song. You know what I mean? I just sat down and made a song about that instead. Hell yeah. 
Yeah. Um, do you have like a spec- like any specific themes you tend to go to more when you write music, or is it just like you know whatever you're feeling at the time? Yeah, it's, it's t- typically whatever I'm feeling. I don't have like a cornerstone of things that I try to hit. I just like I just go, dude, and whatever comes to mind, I try to make it sound right. I have the syllable placement there. Boom. Then my message gets across in a way that's catchy because it's a song. You know what I mean? Or oh, yeah. If they think it's catchy or not, that's all you know, it's per, per person. Now you were but, talking a little, and while I was talking a little bit about Kung Fu Vampire, um, who who um, who would you say are like your biggest influences in music? My biggest influences, I'm gonna have to say, <clears throat> Tech Nine is up there. I've seen him perform so many times live and shit. And like him, there is nothing like him and Chris Calico back in the day, dude. Once they split, I was like, oh, yo, what? I'm a, you I'm guys I love Cali to death. Like I, I, I like Tech Nine, but like I've always been a like a Chris Calico guy. Like Okay. Yeah, I feel like Cali carried. I know Tech had the fucking bars, but man, Cali would half the songs wouldn't be what they were without Cali on the fucking chorus, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude, um, for real. It, it made the whole it gave it the song a whole nother dynamic every time. Hell yeah. What's your opinion on the whole, you know, juggalos need to leave fucking tech nine alone. Like I, I I'm so tired of seeing like, oh, he's beefing. Like he made a song saying, like, hey, we're still cool. He I've definitely saw something that he kind of like like he did it sideways. There's he he can do things in ways sometimes where it's like, was he being a dick though? And it's like I don't know. And it's like it's per person, you know. Everyone's gonna have an opinion about it, right? So, man, I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. Like, uh, you know, it's funny. Uh, I think it's DC Fago guy who said like, Juggalos have like no patience for anybody in the scene they used up all of their all of their forgiveness on isham like isham's the only one that can get away with anything good it's isham yeah man i mean isham's like without isham there'd be no icp there no well no that statement's complete like 100 percent. but isham was definitely one of their you know one of their influences <laughs> Hell yeah. but anyway getting back to influences would, would you say there's anybody else that's like been a really strong influence on your music um not really any kind of like super duper influence i had was from back in the day you know what i mean when i feel like i didn't even have internet so i missed out on a lot of music for a long time like if it wasn't put in front of me i wasn't one of these kids that had a computer that right. i just knew how to use all the time and you know what i mean like you know you're probably me you're probably the first person I've had on the show that has like a similar experience to me. Cause like I grew up in a farm ass little town, no, never had internet, you know? So right. like I found artists way later than everybody else. Like I'm just yeah. finding like mission infect and shit. Now uh, I found dark half last year. Uh, fuck, well, I'm a, just last year. Y'all can call me a Jeff. I don't give a fuck. No, uh, hey, I didn't find dark half till like three years ago, dude. And I'm so sad. I found it so late. And uh, rest in peace, fucking Gino. Right. But um, yeah, I I pretty much knew strictly clowns for the longest fucking time, just because I was the only juggalo in my fucking farm ass little town. Yeah. And then uh, the kids younger than me who had the internet found it, and like they're like, "Have you heard Hobson? Have you heard Tech Nine? Have you heard?" And I'm like, "No, bro." But it was cool because I-, I got I got them into the clowns, and then they like paid it forward and got me into like the rest of them nice dude yeah i saw hopton and swizz live like right before they like popped in cleveland that was one of the hardest sets i've watched bro they killed it it was the the performance was just the top fucking tier bro hell yeah yeah Yeah. uh do you remember what your first like concert was like your first jug concert um first jug concert does that not include tech nine concerts i'm i I consider tech nine a jug related jug adjacent so i would say yes well i was going to i was a i was a technician before anybody would have called me a juggalo publicly even though i had been listening previous with my lack of internet you know what i mean right um but 
Yeah. Did I, did I even answer that? Was that Tech Nine? Yeah. Tech Nine. Yeah, because I've just I've been to so many of them. You know what I mean? Versus I the that. six clown shows I've made it to five. You know what I mean? I mean, everybody always remembers their first clown show. Uh, what was your first clown show? My first clown show was fucking 2019 gathering, bub. I was like I said, I was late on the train. Oh, shit. Your ga- gathering was your first clown show. That's so yeah, fucking 2019. Cool. That's so dope, man. Uh, was that your? I'm so obviously that was your first gathering. How many times have you gathered since then? Three. 2019, 22, 20, 21, 22. Okay. Yeah. Have you uh have you had the chance to grace the the stage yet? Have yes, 2019. I performed <clears throat> um at the uh, Hannibal's house. So that was that was dope. Um, you're cannibal. I said cannibal. Jesus Christ. Oh, you good, bro? Cannibal's house, and um, I performed on the ship of fools last year with Clockwork E and Shangside. Shout out to Shangside. Um, that was dope, dude. I'm I'm How, hoping they have he feels too. old now. I'm really I'm hoping they let the ship, I'm hoping they let that ship come back because uh, I yeah. I didn't get a chance, but like half the homies were on the ship, and I'm like I wanted to see Jay Bazaar, I wanted to see Flapjack, like right. I wanted to see all my boys up there. Um, yeah, I got pulled on. I didn't know when I was going on. I thought I was performing like day two or something. Uh-huh. I go gather the whole gathering, and then the last day they're like, "Yo, you want to go up right now?" I was like, "Right now?" They're like, "Yeah." And they're like, Is that cool? I was like, "Oh yeah." Right, I'll do it. It's like raining outside. I'm all fucking tired from gathering and shit. And I just went up and did it, bro. It was dope. It, it, the rain made it like an experience for me versus it was, just being not raining. I was gonna. Ask it was if like you got dramatic or some shit. I was, gonna, I, was, I was gonna ask if you got stuck in the rain. I know a lot of a lot of the artists were like in that heavy, heavy rain. Yeah, dude. And that's it. Was honestly kind of cool. I was just like worried about the mic and the shit. I was like, I don't want to like oh, yeah. blow their shit. Like, should I stop this right now? Like. <laughs> Hell yeah. I know how that worked. Yeah, I, I'm excited. Uh, this is like the first year I'm going in like four years or so. Okay, took a little now. took a little break. Well, ah, it's just always I'm I, I'm a stay at home dad. Well, not a, yeah, I'm a stay at home dad. I'm not a single dad, but I'm a stay at home dad. My girl right. working all the time, so like it's kind of selfish of me to be like, hey, can you take off for a whole week just so I can go to a festival? Okay, you know. So it's always been like a, you know, I'll go when it's convenient thing. Cause oh, I yeah. hate, I hate fucking, you know, I hate the whole, if you don't gather, you don't matter bullshit. Right. You know, some of us are out here supporting artists every fucking day, but you know, if we don't go to the gathering, oh shit, we're not real jugglers. Right. You ain't shit. And everyone's just rolling with the cool kid crowd. Like we're going, are you like motherfucker? I might. <laughs> right. I, honestly, I love the small shows more, like, especially here in Pennsylvania, like, the scene has been kind of quiet and kind of dead for the past couple of years. And uh, I got to shout out Nate money. Who's actually over on the, uh, the other homies podcast tonight. Uh, Cause him and, and gun smoke and the guys out here, they've been, you know, doing their work, putting like grinding and putting on like little shows here and there. And we had scum come through this year, which never fucking happens. Hell yeah. Uh, so <laughs> I always say, man, I know you're in the Midwest, but fucking East coast is the best coast. Hell yeah! But uh, Back. shout out Booty Pirate. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see what else we got on the fucking on the tracks here. While uh, I step away to use the little tiger's room. Hell yeah! And then uh, after that, we'll definitely talk about some you know shit you got down the pipeline because I know uh, MacGruber sitting in the chat. We're in. We're He's not just tapping his fingers it. on his table. <laughs> The album. I keep telling them boys they need to come on too. I, I want McGruber on the camera because I know he's he's a little iffy about it. I keep telling him we're getting you on the camera, bro. Maybe one day, man. He might do it one day. Uh let's do really about it. Doc Gruesome, Apollo Exodus, who we talked about earlier, and yourself. Oh. 
I got it out the dirt. And I ain't never known a bitch about it. Post up with my click to find you dead. You talking shit about it. Hey, fuck it, little bitch. Just run the fist about it. Oh, you bitching up. Shit, I knew you wasn't really about it. Really about it. I roll up with the vest. I'm scheming. Big plates on my chest. Red beaming. Big clocks in your face. Now you dreaming. For a better day, but you bleeding out. They wanna crash out, homie, I'm the crash course Don't make me take a trip, I know exactly where you're at, whore Customer service, how I give them what they ask for Catch an axe with your face and you stumble out the back door I'm the finesse lord, smoking to my chest sore Intoxicated during murder, bet I make a mess more Then I eat a cheeseburger, blood on my hands still Karma came back around and now your pulse is a standstill Bitch, I got it out the dirt and I ain't never known a bitch about it Post up with my click to find you dead, you talking shit about it Hey, fuck it, little bitch, just run the fist about it Oh, you bitching up, shit, I knew you wasn't really about it, really about it. I roll up with the vest, I'm scheming. Big plates on my chest, red beaming. Big clocks in your face, now you dreaming. For a better day, but you bleeding out. Told you he ain't really about it. Chopper had a lot to say. Red beam on his dome, he catches chrome it coming out of late. Don't look away. I wanna see the second that your eyes. Lose your life, I swear his soul is like my fucking pride. I'm obliged, your demise, sounding like a symphony. Screaming bloody murder, only thing that worked for me And when I get the call, I'm on the kill with urgency So if I'm on your block, it ending in a murder scene I got it out the dirt, and I ain't never known a bitch about it Post up with my click to find you dead, you talking shit about it Hey, fuck it, little bitch, just run the fist about it Oh, you bitching up, shit, I knew you wasn't really about it I roll up with the vest, I'm scheming Big plates on my chest, red beaming in your face, now you dreaming for a better day, but you bleeding out. Hey, yo, hell yeah! Now, correct me if I'm wrong, that one was produced by uh, Bad Mind. <laughs> Dude, honestly, I buy so many beats. I forget sometimes. Oh, I feel you. Um, there's so there's so many dope uh, producers out there, and I feel like producers don't get enough fucking credit, you know? Right. Unless they're no, Devereaux and fucking Shaggy the Airhead, and they're putting like tags on their shit. Like we're not right. we're not we're not hearing about Bad Mind. We're not hearing about fucking Androponics. We're not hearing right. about uh, uh who's the homie that works with Isolated Beings? Uh, Dizzy Dahmer. Okay. But, you know, there's some really dope fucking producers out there. I think we need to normalize, you know, artists talking more about the people that are doing their production, the people that are doing their mixing and mastering. Because right. uh, I, I know artists out there that like struggle with that shit and they, you know, they need a place to go. Right. Yeah, definitely. I'm normally pretty good about that. I think it was Steve on the beat that made that one. It's It's got to be in the description. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I generally, I'm really bad at reading that shit, too. Yeah, I generally try to. I don't want to sound like I'm discrediting my dudes. Like, yeah, I don't know who it was, but yeah, play that shit. Like, I don't know. It's, there, it's generally there. Well, I know, too, like, when, like, certain... I know you don't, like, manually put shit up on, like, YouTube and shit. Like, you put it through distro or whatever, and they... they no, I, I manually have to do my YouTube still. Oh, really? Yeah. I know, like, some artists, they don't fucking, like, even put, like, the features in the, in the title of their song. And I'm like, I know it's in the, like, description or in, like, the details, but, like, put the, the people that are in the song in the fucking title of song so we know who they are right back. Uh, <coughs> but yeah let's let's shift gears back to uh ghost house entertainment i know mcgruber is ready for us to talk about this i know you're probably psyched to talk about this you have a new album coming yes sir uh, roll the dice what? we dropping april 27th on all platforms you can pre-order the physicals right now also for just 10 bucks so anybody that wants to grab this, the site's at the bottom. I'm wrong finger. Grab this. <laughs> the site's at the bottom right there. Boom. You can check out the store. Check out everybody else's merch. There's so many. There's so much Ghost House merch. There's, you know, there's five of us now putting out merch. So six, including Big Sherm. Shout out to homie Big Sherm. He's going to be hosting my show April 27th at Akron at the Vortex. <coughs> I have that here, too. For the album release party. And ladies get in free. So if you're a lady and you want to pull up, you're going to get in free. 
Um, recently yeah. added added V Sinister has taken the place of uh, La Perp. She couldn't make it, so V Sinister is going to hold it down. Oh yeah, that's like dope. Apollo Exodus. We got Abe LinkedIn, who's also a Ghost House member. Mm -hmm. uh, Keegan Grimm, the one and only. Uh, HB the Grizz with that fucking voice, yeah. an angel. Uh, Nada, Whiteout, and V Sinister. Yes, sir. And that's in Akron, Ohio. April 27th. Ladies get in free. It's a party, bud. Hell yeah. 18, and this is an 18 plus show. So don't bring your kids. Don't bring your kids. Don't bring your kids. Uh, let me get rid of that. Yeah. What? So, what else do you have down the pipeline? You have any other projects you're working on? Anything else? Uh, you're super excited to. I'm we might. Looking... I know I can't talk about it because McGruber is the most secretive dude. He's the only guy I can't private for information. Yeah. But I know you're excited for Ghosts on the Underground too. I am kind of expecting you to make an appearance on the album. Uh, I know the only one we have announced so far is Bakelo. But uh yeah, you know, I'm kind of expecting to see some regular faces there. Yeah, like, the like second the second announcement is going to be tonight at midnight. So there's there's various tracks, there's more than a few. Okay, so he's what he's doing is he's dropping them one by one. The second one is being announced tonight at midnight. So st everybody stay up, go follow Ghost House Entertainment on Instagram, Facebook, all that, so you can see Bake Low was number one. For Ghosts yeah. of the Underground Volume 2. Number two is getting announced tonight, and I'm amped. Every time he goes to do it, I'm gonna be like, Who is it? Who is it? You know what right. I mean? So right. like, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna yeah. be doing like I haven't talked to McGruber yet, but I think I'm gonna be doing like little short updates on my channel every time he announces somebody just to hype up Ghost of the Underground 2. Cause yeah, uh, it was one of the first albums I did a review on on here. Actually, the homie Ryan Lovejoy, I think, is is the one who won a copy of it. Um nice. I don't know. He Ryan's won a handful of shit. He he's I call him the super juggalo because he's the one that is always supporting everybody in the fucking scene. Um, Hell yeah. Dude loves the scene and I, I love to see it, man. Yeah, um, he's been dude, he's been helping me keep it moving since we got since we linked up. You know what I mean? I appreciate you, Ryan, for real. Hell yeah, man. Uh super juggalos for sure. Uh, yeah. what were we fucking talking about? Man, I'm spacey. I do apologize. Oh, no, you're good. Uh, two hours of sleep will do that to you. Damn, sipping on a monster, bro. I've been I, so I was sick all fucking weekend, and then like I just got over this norovirus like stomach fucking bullshit, okay. and then immediately after I got like a nasal infection. Now I'm like dealing with this fucking allergies and nasal infection bullshit. Damn, dude, can't can't with kids, bro. They they get you sick. Yeah, yeah. I don't know when I get sick. I go grab some habaneros and I'll just chomp on one. And it'll burn your shit out, dude. Oh, I'm a, I'm a bitch when it comes to hot stuff. I, I'm a, yeah. like, Somebody needs to take my Puerto Rican card. I know I don't look it, but I am half Puerto Rican. <laughs> and uh, somebody needs to take my card because I don't do spice for shit, bro. Okay. Yeah, my dad's like Puerto Rican. My mom's a polar bear. So, like, you know. I'm polar bear. This is what you get. Hell yeah. Uh, fuck yeah. Any uh, Any prospects for the gathering this year? I know you said, you know. Any stages you'd like to see yourself on or I'd like to see the homies on? <clears throat> um, Honestly, I would like to see the ship of fools go full blast because they're not going to play around on that lineup. You know what I mean? It's going to be a good time no matter where they put them. You know what I mean? They would they would sit at the fucking main entrance if they let them and fucking perform right there while everyone's coming in. Like They wouldn't give a fuck. Bro, Whatever it takes. If they don't get a spot, I can see them being like, fuck it. We're doing it in the parking lot. You know? Um, right, dude. That's what I'm saying. If they let them in at all, they're gonna they're gonna make it happen. Other than that, I'm not picky, dude. I just want to see some pretty dope, you know, end of the night type shit going on and enjoy my daytime. You know what I mean? Walk around, link with everybody. Okay. Yeah, man. I, I I do gotta make up this year because I the first year I went, I I definitely did not gather to my fullest potential, and uh, you know, I wasn't yeah. nobody back then. I wasn't doing. I mean, I'm still not anybody, but uh. At least, like, cool. a handful of people know who I am now. Um, but, like, I don't even know what the fuck I was saying. 
And I yeah, we're gonna get it though. You're gonna you be know, there. Th- wait, what? When? Maybe this year or maybe next year? You're saying? Oh, tickets bought. Like I'm gonna be there this year for sure. Hell yeah! There you and go. uh, y'all see me with a fucking camera because I'm gonna be recording shit for a little. I'm not gonna do like the documentary that everybody else fucking does. Uh, right. I want to do something. Two hours of fucking camera shaking and walking. Like, all right. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Sit I got to record some shit. No, I pay for have my a stabilizer equipment. or something. I got, I got, uh, oh, GoPro that has like auto stabilization and shit. Yeah, that's the good. It's much, it's oh. easier to watch, you know. Like, I don't mind the real life POV <laughs> with the camera shaking, but I like to see a good stabilized video, you know. Right, but yeah, I want to do like I don't know, like get people to do some crazy shit. I don't know, not like mm-hmm. booth and shit, because I'm not. Somebody once told me like there are two kinds of juggalos, and I am the one that is not like about the crazy fucking gathering lore and boofing it and spinning the wheel um <laughs> you know i'm all family and f- fucking shangri-la and love and right lo- uh, yeah, I mean, lazy why do people the- spin the wheels intimidating as fuck though oh yeah it's not just some like that ain't nothing like that ain't no ho i've seen some things bro i bet oh man but uh, anybody watching, bro, if you see me at the gathering, don't hesitate to come up and say what's up. Uh, I know a couple people want to kick my ass, but, you know. Really? I'm going to kiss you on the mouth. I'm going to uh, kiss you in your mouth. That's You know, I, I love it when people Ooh. threaten threaten people at the gathering. Like, I'm going to see you. It's on site. I'm like, I always tell people I'm going to kiss you right on the fucking mouth on site, bro. Right. Uh, <laughs> then what are you going to do? Um, right. Blazy boy saying triple nine <laughs> ENT shout out. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, go, uh, McGruber, I'm assuming, says backtrack to Zay's album. I can guarantee that you're going to have it on repeat. Let's see how much uh, info I can pry. Is this like a, is this going to be a full album or an EP? Uh, it's an album. I can't oh, tell yeah. you how many tracks right now. I don't want to release anything and get stabbed. Oh, okay. You're good. Shut up. Shut up. What I tell you? Oh yeah, <laughs> like I said, saying? bro. McGruber is is tight with the fucking like. I can't even pry information that's like secret. Like other people would be like, bro. I'll tell you, just don't tell anybody. McGruber's uh, like, hmm, I wonder who it could be. Yeah, he'll just he'll be like, hmm, I don't know. LOL. He'll just let you wonder. Like you're like, oh, I want information from you. He's like, LOL. That's funny. <laughs> and, <laughs> you're uh, done. You know. You know, to to a point where like it bleeds out on you guys too, because I know I've tried to like Androponics dropped me a hit, and Andrew's like, "Fuck no, bro, I can't." No, I didn't. Uh, Shut the fuck. <laughs> shout out to Andrew. Uh, we're gonna be having you guys on in a, in a little bit, uh, in like a, a couple weeks for sure. I want to get y'all on. Uh, yeah. It's been a minute since I've chatted with y'all. Um. Oh yeah. Fuck. Let's play some more music. Let's uh let's go over to some, you know, some people in the scene that might not be getting the attention they deserve or people that do get the attention, but fuck it. We're gonna give them some more. Uh Moody Voodoo says, follow the non-disclosure agreement, or you might get fired. I mean, I've already been fired. Shout out to Spread the Dead. Um <laughs> shout out to the homie bash. But uh <laughs> Bro, I love, he's my best friend, but I shit on his chat all the fucking time. Um, you know, we talked about Bakelo. He's the first one announced for Ghost of the Underground 2. This mm-hmm. this isn't necessarily a new track, but this is yeah, it's been out for a month, a couple months. But this is yeah. Bakelo with Monster. Let's go. Oh yeah, they said that I suck. All you motherfuckers can join suck nuts. You can go and drop drunk with a bomb in the trunk. It's the only way that you will ever blow up. Oh no, man, you can't be serious. They say I'm at the end, but the thing's delirious. Hearings are clearly y'all can't fucking hear it all. I'm a motherfucking monster with no fear at all. And I'm about to show it. You can say that you paved the way, but I'ma blow it up. And I'm about to go in, changing all your brain waves until you roll it. They used to talk shit, but they're loving it, coveting it. I used to hate another. Girls used to hate another sucking dick, fucking it, wonder what it's up with a slug dip is fucking lit. I hate those damn words, so I'm changing it. Fluence is a bitch, and you haven't changed it. Now when you like something safe, that's great, that's great. No bitch, then have you sick, we own. Own like a 
light switch glowing like the light is Rolling like a bike is fighting like a knight is With a spike knife and a scythe in the night We'll fight like a titan, bite like a mic cam High like a flying, right to the sky from this life When I'm writing down, frown, fuck a big smile If you don't like me then don't even come around My dick before I find you, leave you in the woods for the woods to grind you. I don't really think that I need to remind you. I'm a killer on the beat. Jeffrey Dahmer, when you hear this, nihilist, a nihilist, so hard you'll think your spinal twist. I will get who I'm against, not on the fence. No, I will win. Cause when I hit the room with me, my crew, let my heart out in the booth, turn these rappers into who? Bill, I'm honing my skills, ready to kill. This mic that I will is only gonna hear some shit that's real. But still, okay. I'm a bust all with the beat, you're ready to head, so fuck what you think, leaving them dead with a song of repeat. I've actually never heard that one. That's dope. I'm muted. I stand corrected in the chat. Uh, apparently that one's back from 2018. Uh, Ghost House hit me with the Bake release this on Chuck EP back in 2018. My bad, doc. He knows this shit. Uh, man. The homie Zitro in the fucking chat saying uh, should have played Uzumaki by bake low it's fire definitely shows his growth i'll definitely have to peep it out maybe play it on next week's episode um hell yeah hell shout out Zitro, man yeah man Z hit me up bro uh i'm gonna do some shit uh kind of going on that note uh do a quick little promo for me and then we'll get back to my guy zay here uh yeah, i did post recently that you know i'm not taking i'm not fucking quitting guys i know y'all worried about my post uh, a little while ago uh i'm not quitting what i'm what i was saying was i don't strictly want to do interviews like i love doing the live interviews they get wild sometimes we get people we got a band in the chat we got artists who, who aren't ready don't know what they're doing you got me who gets fucking gummied out sometimes i don't know what the fuck i'm talking about uh <laughs> i want to do some more pre-recorded shit i want to do like gaming with other fucking ninjas i want to do like little gimmicky 10 minute videos where we're i don't know fucking reacting to shit doing shit um i want to collab with other fucking channels so anybody who wants to get involved in doing anything bro hit me up i'm down we'll figure something out same goes to you zay if you want to do like a little gimmicky video fucking don't don't hesitate hit me up we'll do something yeah we'll talk for sure hell yeah uh blaze boy says you're entertaining on your own i'm sure you can come up with some cool ideas still play music oh i do want to do the radio show still um i even considered maybe you know adding a member or two and uh going full drama channel we're gonna talk shit about everyone oh no, shit we don't, we don't do <laughs> uh we fucking shanker the only thing we talk shit about on this channel is hell's pit hell's pit is trash and there goes all my <laughs> viewers there goes all we got know, a fucking I, thing between you and uh you and everybody. your boy up there man just you know i got i gotta throw it up on the screen ah. pit, absolute garbage uh <laughs> anybody who's like a long time viewer understands anybody who came to see you is like fuck this guy and they just left <laughs> um they just backed bad. out of this like fuck zay too fuck zay too. <laughs> my bad dog um <laughs> 
No, nah, man. So I used to do a podcast with the homie uh, called Part of Boston Dead Guy Show. And they're all like huge Hell's Pit fans. So, you know, I was just being a dick and, you know, shit on what the homies love type shit. Right. So, you got it, bro. Uh, got to always do that shit. But, uh, yeah. Hell yeah. And... Get on everybody's dreams. That's what's up. Fuck yeah. Um, <laughs> Bro, I'm my brain is melted. I, I feel oh, bad. I am not. Bro, I am not on my A game this week, and uh, I do feel bad about that. No, Anybody good, in the dude. chat, bro? You got questions for Zay? Throw them out there. Uh, Don't you do know, that. I want, <laughs> if they're if they're on some fuck shit, they're gonna get blocked. But, uh, <laughs> Your buddy, dude. Get blocked. I'll Shout say it. To- I swear to God, I'll say it. Shout out to Diesel in New Jersey for uh, being fucking super talented motherfucker. He's made like all of my hockey masks. He, he he's contributed to a lot of my background. Uh, nice fucking Lego. But I know Andrew has been eyeing up these Lego boys back here. Um, yeah, man, he's he's an amazing artist. You can go to dieselartwork.com, I believe. He has prints, paint, uh, full on paintings, masks, all kinds of bullshit. Nice dude. Check your boy out. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Let's get back to you, Zay. Um, now, this is a question we like to ask almost all of our artists, and uh, it's uh, it's one I love to get answers for. Mm-hmm. Um, what artist would you love? Like, is there anybody on your bucket list, artist that you would still haven't worked with that you, you know, you would love to work with if you had the power to? Um, I'm not going to lie. I do have a Devro beat that I'd really like Shaggy on type shit. But other than that, like in a more broad spectrum, um, um, shit. there's, there's a few, bro. I just, it's one of those things I can't think of at the top of my head. Then I'll hear their song and I'd be like, man, I'd love to have a song with them one day. You know what I mean? Like realistically, not on some like, oh, I'm going to have to drop $50,000. You know what I mean? Like if it's something I can seriously set my mind on, I'm gonna I'm gonna snag it, bro. But um, I don't know. Are you more likely to reach out to an artist to do music, or is it more more than not like an artist hits you up to do something? Um, well, especially as of the last year, mostly people hitting me up because I finally focused on a solo album versus an album that's half me and half everybody else you know what i mean and me and everybody else so being that i kind of switched to the solo side i had to up my prices a little bit because i work i work like 40 plus hours sometimes 50 plus sure so like i have to like you know what i mean i gotta compensate somewhere so that's why when my prices went up a little bit when i got signed nothing crazy and uh, maybe like 20 bucks went up and you know whatever but so when my free time, I have to make everything fold over when I can or I'm falling behind because I just work a lot, you know? Yeah. So I have to be able to, like, I credit any artist that doesn't have to work a full-time job and they're killing it right now. That's dope because when you can focus that much time on something, you can run it way harder. You know what I mean? No, I, yeah, um, I, I do. Like, yeah, I'm not working, but like I said, I'm a stay-at-home dad. So, like, right. I can't keep that's my right. eyes off the kid. Yeah, I always got to keep one kid on the fuck, one eye on the kids to make sure they're yeah. not like killing each other. Um, right, there you go. But uh, I feel I feel jealous sometimes because even though the homies work, man, I they're up all night. Like, shout out the the homie. He's watching uh One Piece. He just started One Piece, and and he's like, I'm 170 fucking episodes in or something. And I'm like, bro, like I wish I wish I had the time to just sit and fucking uh, right bit, bit tv or like they so many people are talking about fallout that just came out and i'm like bro where do you find time <laughs> right they're like well generally between 12 and 5 in the morning and then i wake up tired and do it all over again every fucking I day mean, i stay up every night too like I, I usually go to bed two three o'clock and wake up at six to get my kid to kid on the bus um so like you know, four hours is the average amount of sleep per night. Wow. Okay. Bla- I, try uh, to, I try to grab six. You know what I mean? And I solid six. That's. Oh, uh, you know, midday dad naps are always a fucking thing, though. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, man. You catch them getting tired. You're just like, I'm going to go to sleep too. Let's see if this works out. You just pass out. Right. <laughs> like, Especially when it's just my son, because like my daughter's at school. So I'm like, oh, okay. I'm definitely not like this guy. He'll pass the fuck out. You know, we'll, I'll put on something. And then I wake up and he's like, bro, I ate all the chocolate. I'm like, what do you mean? Uh, <laughs> this is all dirty. <laughs> Why? <laughs> bro, I, I've been there. Man. Zitro says uh, I average five hours sleep a night. Hell yeah. Yeah. I try What's to up? get six. Sometimes it don't work. I feel like if I get eight, I'm fucked. Like I'm I'm tired all day. Like yeah. I, I can't. Yeah, no. One to two to three. Oh man, he just rolls the dice. That's Every why it's night. called see that's we're why it's, Ghost House wasn't just a fucking clever name, man. He's he's dead on his feet all the fucking time. Uh, <laughs> That man's always tired. <laughs> I'm just tired. Uh, no, I feel that. I've, I've been trying to, like, get into shit. You know, I, I don't usually spend time doing, like, just me. And lately, I've been, like, fucking watching shows and playing. Fuck the homie. He got me into, he started playing. He's like, you got to try out Fortnite. And I'm like. Uh, I'm not ready Bro. to go down that fucking road yet. And uh, Do it. he he convinced me. And now, like, it's all the time I have is like, fucking, all right, let's hop on Fortnite real quick. And get <laughs> fucking on. Great. Facts. Dude, we'll have to play sometime, dude. Let me know. I'll be hopping on sometime. Oh, yeah. you, know you know, that again, that's kind of some of the shit I want to do on the channel is like, you know, get some homies to, or some artists to fucking, yeah. you know, Fortnite. I'm, I want to get like a big uh, fucking Among Us game with a bunch of artists. I think that would be so fucking funny. And so okay. like choice, uh, Fall Guys, all kinds of bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I never played that one, but I hear it gets weird. Uh, it's just, you know, it's, it, it gets monotonous. Uh, yeah. Lazy Boy says, y'all sleep. I'm over here geeking. I mean, sometimes your body just gives up on you. Um, right. Moody, Moody Voodoo says, Sasquatch is tired quickly. Cool. I believe it. <laughs> let's see. Let's see what else we got on the fucking on the music here tonight. I got so much fucking... Oh, I've been dying to play this one. Uh, not only just because of the name, because my nerdy ass was saw it and was like, fuck yeah. But it's uh, D-Murder and Dean. They, uh, they're working on a group project called D&D, which, uh, you know, already struck my fucking nerd ass heartstrings. But okay. uh, I love these guys. The song is called... Something. I lost it. The song is called Ain't Safe. God damn. 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 God damn, boy. God, God damn. damn. It ain't safe, you ain't safe All these con artists and fakes Everyone is out to get you Everyone is out to play It ain't safe, you ain't safe Always watching what you say Everyone is out to get you Everyone's a fucking snake It ain't safe buddy, buddy When they lie into your face But they leave when it gets muddy It gets bloody in this place Grudge and mold like they was buddy Just so they can steal our face You can laugh but it ain't funny You can fucking be your race You ain't safe, bitch Even if if you famous, don't care what your name is Hit you with the stainless, save it with that lame spit Man, we get the flames lit, watch it with them statements Fool, don't get complacent, we make kids Yeah, we underground like basements Bitch, we go to work, like the fork up in the pot Flip it, bitch, we go berserk I'll be quick to kill a snitch, let him slip, that's a first On that gang shit forever, till they stick me in a hearse Check the logo, BSC some pros, ho Oh, on the road, road, you can be the proto Rip a photo, quick to explode Do a bozo, fucking with these are no, no Oh no, safe, you ain't safe All these con artists and fakes Everyone is out to get you Everyone is out to play It ain't safe, you ain't safe Always watching what you say Everyone is out to get you Everyone's a fucking snake It ain't safe It ain't safe Yeah. Telling me that blah blah, saying you can give me this and that, yada yada. 
nada I don't trust a word you say to me, homie, nada Trying to play me like we in Shakespearean drama But you ain't getting me, I won't allow the shit again Talking shit behind my back, but to my face it's like we're friends I'm not a dummy on the shelf, bitch, and you ain't Mary Shaw But if you keep on pushing problems, I'll remove that lower jaw So you can spit that venom, this dude is weak, come get him Trying to play the boss, but I ain't playing with him Standing on my island, watch that fake kingdom fall And when you come a-knocking, you can still suck on these balls I don't trust you snakes, not even if your blood I can smell you fakes, back off of me, I'm good I don't need white knights, I need green backs If you ain't about the cash, then homie, step back It ain't safe, you ain't safe, all these con artists and fakes Everyone is out to get you, everyone is out to play It ain't safe, you ain't safe, always watching what you say Everyone is out to get you, everyone's a fucking snake It ain't safe What you say, everyone is out to get you. Everyone's a fucking snake. It ain't safe. It ain't safe. It ain't safe. It ain't safe. That's pretty dope. Who did you say that was? That was uh Dean and uh D Murder. And then, Dean, I'm familiar with some. I don't think I ran through his catalog at all, but I know we've got some mutual homies for sure. I gotta, I gotta check him out. Dean's cool because like some of his music is rap and some of his music's like straight metal. Uh man, it's 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 crazy. I had him on a long ass time ago, back when like the show wasn't even the Bottle Ball show. Uh back when my thumbnails looked like a third grader put them together. <laughs> um fuck but uh i, I want to know i gotta ask the guys man who hurt you like who who hurt you that you needed to put that song out uh it ain't safe though um right. now when you're not doing music when you're not working what do you how do you unwind what do you do for fun um drink a little bit like i said i'll pop on Fortnite. you know what i'm saying i don't know if you uh so like you play once in a while or what like once a week uh, or probably once a day at least yeah like a vitamin bet well i'm I'm normally on pretty late you know what i'm saying i'll be up till fucking oh, yeah that's when i play bro i play it like uh, yeah and i'll be up till like four in the morning same yeah yeah bro hit me send me a friend i'll send you a friend I'm fucking yeah yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll definitely bring down your kd ratio because i fucking suck um <laughs> we'll have a good time then uh, especially with the new fucking avatar bullshit like i'll be getting my ass kicked Oh, dude, that's oh. way overkill, bro. Way OP. Although I do, uh, you know, I think it needed it because I, I, I'm losing everybody right now, but fuck it. Uh, I think it needed it because it was just the, like, uh, Greek god shit. Like, I feel like there wasn't, it wasn't as diverse. It wasn't, like, it was kind of boring. Okay. Uh, Ghost House oh, says, spread the dead P- hopped in too, one of- Bro, listen, man. You got Ghost House and Spread the Dead talking about, wait, what? What's up? Hey, now. F- Bash, you don't play Fortnite. Shut the fuck up. You don't? Uh, unless that's Gunner. That actually might be Gunner B. Gunner. Uh, Gunner. I know Gunner and Gordon. Do you play uh, Zero Build or do you play Build? Straight up Zero Build. You're not going to get me to play Build, bro. Zero Build is the only fucking way to play. Like, fuck. Oh. I'm not wasting my yeah. time. Yeah, oh, my bad. I thought you said Build is the only way. And I no, immediately bro. went, no, you're one Build's, of them. You're like, no, no, build no. is trash. You said zero oh. either. <laughs> right. Like, I want I want to shoot some motherfuckers. I don't he want wants to the smoke, out. dude. It sounds like he wants the smoke. Uh, spread the Death says Bills all day. This, You know, this is why I got fired. Because, uh. We just, never, we just never saw eye to eye man uh, that's why i wouldn't play originally i did what you did i was like dude i'm not playing that fucking game no, it's not happening but like, dude go play no builds tell me how you feel and two hours later i was like you motherfucker what'd you do to me <laughs> I was like, it was, it, this it was is my free time when i got nothing to do 
it was the homie in the chat earlier, Bobby, that was the one who was like, "Fuck, you got to play this with me." I'm like, "All right, fuck it, let's do it." Yeah, y'all, if you're if you're playing tonight, dude, add me up. We can get a fucking a post post show fucking Fortnite game cracking an after party. You know bro, what I'm, I'm saying? About I'm about it. That'd um, be sick. Bro, I had something funny to say, and I don't even fucking remember. That joke's gone. Um, ah, fuck. You know, don't you hate it when it happens? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, I feel like you just lost a piece of yourself or something. Oh, oh well. I do, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, spread the death says, just gonna be. What's just gonna be? Is that you? Are you gonna be? Uh, Zitra says, are oh, we getting right down now, on bro. Sonic? I'll sleep the floor with y'all. I suck at Sonic, but I am I am a retro gamer. Like I love playing Mario. I love playing. I'm not like uh, the homie Crazy McCormick's fucking crazy with retro games. And yeah, I, dude, I, he I has all the games I've never heard of because I was born in you know before him. So I I missed out on all that other shit. Yeah, I I talk to him often and watch his twitches and shit, but uh, not like he twitches. That's weird. Uh. <laughs> But uh bro, I saw him beat fucking Punch Out, and I'm like, I could never beat Punch Out. No. Man. And, and that's was... like Metroid and Punch Out are like two games that I've always wanted to beat that I just fucking I can't. Yeah. What was your what was so what was your favorite like system ever? Going all the way back to everything. <laughs> that's hard for me because I'm a I'm a huge NES kid. Uh I probably Super yeah. Nintendo. Um, yeah, I original, think Nintendo 64 and Xbox 360 got me the most. Original PlayStation had some fucking hits, though. Like, original, okay. like, Crash Bandicoot, fucking original Resident Evil. Uh, There's a game called Casper that <laughs> was, like, a fucking puzzle-ass game where you just go through the house and have to collect shit. But uh, I waste my time playing that. <laughs> Did you ever play Gears of War at all or no? I uh, just like not having internet. I always had like four systems behind everybody else, <laughs> you know. Okay. Everybody's playing Xbox 360. I'm over here with my my NES, like playing Super Mario three. Nah, right. Or so, we? Yeah, I basically only play Fortnite. Like if, if I'm gonna hop on, I'm not watching TV. I don't watch a whole lot of movies and shit. Just like at night, once in a while. Right. I'm I pop uh, it on. Like, well, what up? No, I feel you, bro. Like, I used to watch horror movies constantly. Used to watch, like, I love, like, shitty 80s flicks in general. Yeah. But I love uh, a good B grade. It's like, who the fuck are all these actors? And they're all just killing it. It's like, yeah. I'm so, like, overstimulated now, though, that I just, like, I, I have four <laughs> screens open. And, like, I was like, I just got to put a movie on that I've seen 400 times so I can, like, hear it and know what's going on. But I don't have right. to pay attention to it. So uh, I've seen Roadhouse at least 40 times this year already. Uh, I, swear, <laughs> I swear i don't know why it's, it, it's always when i when i've had like an eddie or something and i'm like you know already fucking stoned out of my mind i'm like bro roadhouse sounds like a good movie right i, I, bro, I don't know why it's always roadhouse roadhouse <laughs> spread the dead says or we we was the worst i will say yeah. it was our wii u was probably the worst worst but i didn't like, i wouldn't i wouldn't buy a wii never wasn't going down there was it's a not couple, that fun to me. It's like cool to do for like an hour, and then you're like, "All right, let's stop doing this shit, bro." Like, there, like I, I, want, I like Mario, but I don't want to play every single game as Mario. You know, I don't want to be like Truck Simulator, but Mario, uh, Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> well, you know, that would actually fucking that would bang, fucking <laughs> Grand Theft <laughs> right, Auto. No, bring that Mario. up. Get, have people take your idea, and it'll be out next year, and you'll be like, "Wow." <laughs> oh, I've always been the idea guy. Like, no fucking no want or need to go forward with shit but i always right. have the idea dude, that's uh, good to keep around though everybody needs something like someone like that dude you know yeah shit. uh and then they fire me uh spread the day the, the room dad. is my favorite i love the room the room is such a fucking bad movie but i love it the room i don't know that one with uh tommy wiseau it's the one that where i what's the fucking famous line uh i did not hit her i did not oh hi mark it's it's like a really fucking terrible like it, it's worth a watch if you haven't seen it but you have to okay. go into it knowing that it's absolute garbage like uh, okay. one of my favorite movies is thanks killing i actually rock a thanks killing shirt every once in a while and uh man the cringier the fucking cheesier the movie the better honestly yeah also shout out flint's homie thanks for oh, popping in bro 100 bro whoop, whoop. shout out flynn 
uh always like fighting games like street fighter mortal kombat and samurai showdown which is your favorite because like i've always been a street fighter guy and i know everybody picks mortal kombat or tekken or but like for some reason more street fighters always been my shit yeah street fighter did it for me dude i was never never good at mortal kombat since way back in the day you know what i mean i was never good i just like to try to play it and then i'd be like fuck this game right <laughs> like no it's not for me yeah i was, I was bigger I was into putting... call of duty and shooting games and you know what i mean it doesn't matter first or third person but as long as it's a good three... well put together shooting game i'm probably gonna fuck with it yeah i was about to talk about that blazy boys man he with the deep cut killer instinct is probably my number two and then i gotta put tech in probably third okay yeah, I didn't really play Tekken ever. Uh, I, mean, well, I got a brain fart, and I can't remember how to add somebody right now. Oh my god! Oh, you good, bro? My my, I think the best game ever made ever, and I'm gonna go on the record saying this is Space Cadet Pinball on fucking whatever old ass computer you you got it on, because uh, that shit would still. I had a Windows Millennium computer at one point, and the shit was, uh the slowest thing in the world and oh, really? uh it, it would space cadet pinball would crash my fucking computer that's how how fucking solitaire would crash that fucking computer it's how Damn. old ass computer it had like a half a fucking megabyte maybe <laughs> half a megabyte um, shit was, it was a nibble flito says uh i had to pick i'd say street fighter because i played online competitively See, I'm weird with it though. I like Street Fighter before they did like speeding it up, like original, original Street Fighter. I think it was like two turbo or something. Two when they like hacked the cabinets and like went turbo with it. I don't fucking know. Okay. Do you have like an all time favorite fucking video game? Well, I will say the only game I ever know liked when I was like 16 or 17 was Gears of War straight no life did like all summer and got real good at it like competitively uh, good at it other than that i never dove that deep into a game i'd play like i'd pick it up for an hour half an hour here and there like that's how i am now i'll play for like an hour and i'm good i don't really got i don't i don't do that like a, a shit ton uh, yeah and i wish I, had time. I try to pop on get some game time in what's up i wish i had time like that now like i i have to convince my daughter to play with me so the games yeah. i'm like playing all the time are like minecraft uh, awesome. Which I mean, Minecraft still fucking hits, but um, uh, you know, it's it's not what I want to fucking. I I haven't played Call of Duty in in years. You know, I used to call Black Ops One like just all day every day. Uh, nice. I got so good at Black Ops One and fuck zombies. I'm I'm gonna be <laughs> controversial here. I can't. I I hate zombies. I I don't like playing zombies for sure. I overdid it. We overdid it. That same, same. Like, and I then I was just like, days. dude, like, no more. Like, I started going to sleep and hearing like ah, and seeing shit reaching at me when my eyes closed, and I'm like, too much zombies. That was too much zombies. Uh, yeah, I think zombies and like I love Skyrim to death, but it's so hard to play Skyrim now because like when I was 20 or so, I would play Skyrim all fucking day, and I would literally right. fall asleep playing Skyrim, wake up fucking dead. I'd be like, what the fuck happened? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wake up with your mic in your hand and your shirts off you're like what 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 the hell what? <laughs> right. yeah bro, I, that was when i worked at fucking mcdonald's like that was my first ass job what was your can you remember what your fucking first job was yeah i was 15 um i don't think it was even like technically legal or not i don't fucking know but i was 15 back then and I wanted to make some kind of money. So that's how I got my first car as I was washing dishes on the weekends. So every weekend at that age, I would spend, you know, washing dishes and every all this other stuff that now that I look back on it, I'm like, yo, they had me doing a lot for being 15, bro. I was wiping the walls down as high as I could reach in the whole kitchen. And like they had me doing shit like do it. And I would just do it. You know what I mean? Right. I mean, I, you I was doing a lot. You could tell when somebody had like a legit fucking job when they were like a teenager. Like yeah. you could sell with their work ethic. Uh, yeah, dude. I think at seventeen, I was working McDonald's. As soon as I graduated, or actually in the summer, uh, I started full full time at McDonald's. I was just always there, 
and uh, that I call those jobs like character builder jobs because you like you learn how to be a fucking person. Right. You're you're no longer a shitty teenager. You have to be a person now. Right. Uh, like nobody took took the time to teach me how to mop properly or fucking clean up properly after myself until I worked at McDonald's. Right, uh, but then you learn a shit ton. You know what I mean. And then you learn a lot about people and how people act. Yeah. And... Oh yeah, because I wasn't I wasn't the dude on the grill, bro. They had me in that fucking cold ass window, taking orders and fucking handing out food, getting yelled at for shit you didn't do. And you're just like, one, I'm sorry, like <laughs> that one dude who came through the drive through probably once a week, butt ass naked, ordering an ice cream cone. Uh. I kid you fucking not. Like this dude wow. would come, come through the drive through fucking dick out. Like he's like, I, I didn't have time for pants, but I need this fucking ice cream right now. Right. Consistently. I want to know what that dude's <laughs> doing now. That's what I want to fucking know. You want what? I want to know what that dude's work doing now. <laughs> you know? I don't know. Eating ice cream in his dick out, probably. Uh this is the part of the show I love because we can just bullshit and talk about nothing instead of like the boring interview stuff. Uh, right. Man, this is the better. This is kind of what I want to do. I just I always get caught in my head and want to fucking you know. I I do want to put you out too. Like I want to I want people to know who you are. Right. But uh. But also yeah, like, when you're I, trying I like, to be professional, you know, it's like you're like it's like we have like a thing in the back of our head like be professional, be pro-, and it's you know what I mean. But it's like we're fucking right. us, dude. It's like either well, way, the homie. So. I know everybody loves the lives, but I want to start doing these pre-recorded because people are so much different when you're not live in front of fucking people. Yeah. You know, and it, it takes me even a, a few minutes, like get out of my head and just talk. Right. Yeah. It's so, like that. Dude. I'm, I stutter on my shit all the time. And then once I talk, I say it and I mean it, you know what I mean? but I'll be stuttering and forgetting what the fuck I was thinking. Right. Uh, Blazy boy says, if you don't know Zay, they don't know shit. I mean, whoop, whoop. facts, big facts. You're looking on me. Although you can learn shit, bro. P- go to the fucking link that I don't have posted anywhere yet. Check out Zay's music. Fuck, just go to YouTube two one six A. Yep, all Listen platforms two one six Z A Y. If you have up. Instagram, go follow me two one six A, and my master link is in my bio. You can click that and get a hold of my merch. Get a hold of all my music. Get the you OnlyFans. I mean? Got the OnlyFans link in there. Yeah. Selling it. Selling Hell it. Yeah. Uh, no hate to anyone out there that is rocking the OnlyFans. Yeah, no, yeah. Do your thing on video. It's cool. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> support your, your local naked-ass person. Right. Know. Who needs a couple Cru- bucks for a sandwich. Right. Fucking cruel hand Cru- Luke hand in the Luke chat. Hand- what up, bro? Uh... I'm going to go back to the chat because I know I missed a bunch of fucking shit. Bla- uh, Blazy Boy says modded Skyrim for the... Li- Fuck. Skyrim, though, the issue with Skyrim m- when you play it modded is you can't go back. Like, you can't go back to vanilla-ass Skyrim after you've played it with all the fucking mods and the hacks and the Thomas the Tank Engine is the fucking dragon. Like What? Yeah, there's mods for everything. and You can just make naked-ass people like... Skyrim's crazy with the mods. I've never played Skyrim in my life. Uh, it's a good waste of like four years. Because that's how fucking... It's Bethesda, so it's like Fallout. It's like all those other games where they're like, we're going to take eight years to make a game because we want to put all this extraneous lore that nobody cares about in it. And But still, when you enter a fucking room, all the shit glitches out because they haven't figured out all the fucking bugs. Wow. Uh, uh did you have you you said you don't really watch movies and tv i know like the new fallout show just peep uh just came out and people have been talking about that um i've not seen that like i'll I'll watch a movie i just don't like invest a lot of time in to movies and games that much it's like an hour each a night like just by the cycle of my day you know what i mean right so i'll probably i'll probably watch a movie i'll probably play fucking xbox for like an hour that's about Uh, it I feel you. I, I, you know, once once I'm done, I gotta dedicate more time to the show. I will say, but yeah, like once yeah you'll feel better I'm, about shit. When, you know, once get, I'm get done, done looking at the show stuff, I'm like, all right, what now? And uh, I usually pop into Discord. 
we used to have a pop in discord now it's like fucking ghost town yeah no, uh, no pun there but uh i'll throw on like I, i'll throw on a show i just finished up letter kenny now i'm watching my hero which is like the first time i've watched anime like ever um yeah I don't yeah, know I don't what the fuck you're talking about. I, I, watched, I found one anime I thought was cool. It was like Toro de Horo or something like that. Okay. Yeah, it was just intense, dude. I was, I was like, wow. It was, it's just a lot to watch, you know? Yeah. The only anime so, I've ever had like like exposure to is like American anime that doesn't really count. Like Pokemon or like Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh or they're you know the four kids one of my favorites though is this and if anybody fucking remembers this uh ultimate muscle it was it was on four kids tv it is the most ridiculous wrestling based fucking anime ever like dude re- ends up wrestling people that are like a fucking tennis shoe or like a cell phone <laughs> It's the stupidest shit, but if anybody fucking remembers, that's a deep cut. Uh, it's definitely something worth fucking peeping out. You said that's a deep what? It's a very deep cut. It's it's oh, that's not what fucking, I heard. <laughs> whatever, whatever you heard, I also said that. Yes. Cancel the beef tiger. Uh, <laughs> Diesel, Diesel says uh, Inuasha is dope. I bro, I never watched Inuasha. Yeah. Fuck. Let's see what else we got for music uh, tonight. Also, I, I will warn you, there's no time limit on the show. If you get tired of fucking talking to me, just be like, hey, I gotta pop off and I'll be like, all right, fuck you then. Um, all right, buddy. Well, with that said, I'm out. <laughs> well, I've had people on here for like three hours and they're like, all right. like, And they message me and you're like, how long is the show? I'm like, bro, the show is as long as you want it to be. Like, right. Um, since we were talking a little a while a long while ago about you know people coming in the scene you not really being forthright with everything you know not giving it the respect it deserves i got to play this next one the homie flapjack wilson drop in complete insanity this week uh, i don't know if you know what i'm talking about he dropped a song called pander yeah which, uh, it, it definitely parody uh if y'all don't know flapjack you are sleeping dude's hilarious uh but this is pander did he parody what i think he parodied i think so i don't think he outright said anybody but i think we can kind of get the idea (laughs) because dude to myself i was like fuck yeah (laughs) that shit is hard dude yeah. Bitch, I pee pee. There's her most falling. Yeah, I'm the family. I'm gonna say it, Flapjack. 
for main stage because I just want to see that song played on fucking for real. Music. Even if it's just that song, and then just the whole night's over after that, like cool, right. shut it down. <laughs> That'd be sick. Flapjack is opening for ICP, and that's the only song he's gonna play. Right, it's just there's just those two all day. But he does have a 15 minute set. He's just gonna DJ Paul it and just keep playing it over. Right, over. just pander until everybody fucking is over it like, <laughs> like <laughs> six times. Everyone's like, "All right, dude, we're good." Let me say, dude, Flapjack Wilson. I respect the fuck out of him as an artist because he don't give a fuck what nobody thinks, bro. You know what I mean? He doesn't have no kind of guidelines or what he can and can't right. do. This motherfucker is just doing his thing, dude, and it's great for whatever it is. You know, every song for whatever it is that he went towards. He he knows what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? You That's know, what Flap right? I'll say that about Flap and, you know, Clockwork. Like, their music is obscene like it's it's ridiculous right yeah. but there's so much art behind what they do right like it's honestly, not just like, simple goofy shit it's like it's good for a reason or like you know what i mean they're doing shit on purpose it looks so, they yeah. still they'll still fucking hit you with the bars too and i'm like like yeah, they rap better than some like serious motherfuckers out there right uh, or just as good if you didn't hear that flow halfway through the song you know what i mean right yeah like yeah killed it man i love flappy he uh he was in our discord for a while he came in as tony lasagna and the homie was like who the fuck is this tony lasagna they're a troll like and, and was like giving dude shit and and they and sh they were like uh come in the chat right now and show your camera we're gonna fucking ban you and he comes in as flapjack i'm like ah it would be fucking flap uh, <laughs> I love Flap. Flap's so fucking dope. He cracks me up, bro. That's the thing. Like, I there's like certain sects in our our fucking scene that are so like divided, and then there's there's like some real fucking people, like real connection with some people. You know, there are, there right. is like, there's a good base. You know, we just gotta. And I, I'm not one for gatekeeping. I hate fucking gatekeeping. Uh, right. But. We got to correct some fucking people that are coming in at it wrong, too. You know? Right. And that's where it's like, that's where everybody's opinion gets involved based in who, like, who decides that and, you know what I mean? And who really crossed the line. Like, if you're straight up going against the morals that, or at least some of the morals that the clowns have, like, instilled, right. you know what I mean? Then that yeah. should be a straight up red flag. Anybody defending that's whack. But, yeah, there are, there are big things that like no, that doesn't belong. Yeah, it's like dude, that's not what it's supposed to be. Like, how is this? Everyone's just like, we're not talking about it because they're this person. Just keep it, keep moving along. And it's like, no, why is that okay? And they're just like, no, you're not talking. Like, it just there's levels to it. Like, but then there's like doesn't... also like silly shit where they're like, oh, well, you don't know. I will say you should probably know of the Joker's cards. Maybe not. Even, I I won't front if you don't know the order yet. If you're making an effort. But, like, if you don't know anything about anything, don't come in, like, toting, like, your big fucking dick juggalo. <laughs> you know? Right. At like, you at least gotta want to fucking find out. Yeah. About it. Exactly. And, uh, you know, like I said, I like giving people the benefit of the doubt. I'll, I'll be the first one to hit up some people when they're coming in and be like, well, welcome. Like, fuck, if you need help on your journey i'll put you in the right direction avoid right. hell's pit it's trash uh but facts. <laughs> big facts uh i'm gonna get canceled yet no you're not i mean i you're gotta have done. more than 100 viewers in a in a week to you know get can i got i gotta blow up to get canceled um, no you don't well unless i want to speed run it and i'm not i'm not trying to do that either right I just want to, you know, slow burn. Um, true, true. Like the like the rest of us podcasters. The rest of us? Oh, I thought that was like you were naming like a, a channel. What? No, I'm not talking shit. I mean, I am, but I'm not. Yes, we are. Mad talk, shit. The only the only podcast I actively talk shit about is Spread the Dead, and that's and it's because there's no hate. That's my old channel. And uh, right. it's my best friend that runs it. So I'm going to talk mad shit about that one. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's all love. Um, right. Fuck. Let's throw another song on. 
uh fuck. <laughs> debating if i want to go oh i gotta do this one uh this next one enoch x mortis one of the fucking craziest uh like word smiths i'd say like his fuck he uses like very like thought out bars I don't know. Fuck it. Shut up, spread the dead. You're blocked. Um, <laughs> I'm Gunner. I'm gonna take the channel. Bash that. It's mine now. Um, but yeah, Enoch. Fucking crazy. The verses. Cartoon. I'm always gonna say his fucking name wrong. Bonder. Bonder. Ranger Ant. What you said. <laughs> I'm gonna call him Cartoon. It's Bonder Ron, aka Banger Ant. I do believe. Hell yeah. Uh, and Enoch more ex mortis with the song uh, Blast Off. Okay. Uh, Yamcha. Chris, you a fool for this one. Blast off like I'm Jesse and James And, and, and I'm psychopathic like I'm Shaggy and Jack Slightly, slightly suicidal, I relate to the grave By nine, I got signs all over my face Hey, suicidal, psychopathic, young white Jesus Broken habits, G59, slide with the head Shit, cornball rappers, wrap them in plastic Rut row baggy, cutthroat sassy Straight to the point like a custo baggy Blocks in the couch, blocks, blocks in the couch Get a core whore, boys, it's a slow slow gaggy Yeah, that's nasty shit If you see me at the show, you better ask for a pic Cause I'm about to blow up on my Pakistan shit like, I'm the lead singer of Afghanistan, bitch Who knock a tire like the Chugal Lombada Ask Mike Tech about the song called Rai Rai We misfits in this bitch This Cora whore meets Brostradamus Blast off like I'm Jesse and James And, and, and I'm psychopathic like I'm Shaggy and Jack Slightly, slightly suicidal I relate to the grave By nine, I got signs all over my face It's Mortis using words that gon' hurt your brain Kurt Cobain breaking needles in my purple veins Everybody's songs are so fucking short nowadays. I, I want like 30 verses in like every fucking every fucking I want 20 really? minutes song. No, I don't. Uh you like you prefer you prefer like four minute songs over I, a two minute and thirty second banger? Like I think I'm like in that where I like two two verses in a hook, you know? Okay. But like at this point we barely get one from a lot of people. We'll get like a, a minute song and I'm like, fuck, where's the rest of it? A minute. Like yeah, the didn't even come back in the second time. What are you doing? Was <laughs> this a was this a or they'll just like replay the chorus for 20 minutes after? I'm like, bro, I've heard the chorus. Like, give me something. Wow. Uh I feel it though. Fuck yeah. I had some. You see that there. um that new uh, Triple MFD video. Which one was that? It's recent. Go look it up right now. This makes compelling fucking... Entertain the people. and I'll, I'll, I'll look it up real quick. That's a good one, dude. Um, well, I, I think I've seen it, maybe. I don't know. I'm really bad yeah. with like not watching shit till it's showtime. Oh, I feel so, it. like a lot of times, like I'm listening to the shit the same time y'all are, because I'm a shitty juggalo, bro. There's just too much to keep up with. Have Have you peeped out the Ouija Mac Darby album that came out? No, I have not. I I I'll be honest, I haven't either. I'm not a huge Ouija fan. No. Oh, like, no. you never really were, or you just kind of... Yeah, I just it, don't like that style of rap, I think. 
Yeah, see, I was bumping gutter water and a couple after that. And that's about it. That's about that. I, I know, like, other people fuck with it. I just, I don't know. We Like, I always say, Weezy's a fucking, like, he's a juggalo. There's no, there's no fucking debate in that. Was mm. it Armageddon you were talking about? Yeah, yeah. It's brand new. Yeah, I, I think oh, it was yeah, maybe I, just a month ago. Yeah, yeah. I pe- I've, uh, I've seen Armageddon. That shit okay, yeah, hard. that's dope as fuck. Right, well, I know Scum has a new album dropping, like, really fucking soon. Yeah, I think there's, like, 15, 15 tracks on it, I think. I felt like he just dropped Bad Bad Uncle though. Like, wasn't that just like a couple months ago he dropped Bad Uncle? Yeah. Dude's always fucking grinding. Definitely. Dude. There's been a, a handful of fucking albums that have just recently dropped. I know Doc Gruesome just dropped one. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nasty Ink dropped one. Uh, yeah, I don't. I never listen to Nasty Ink. Gibby always fucking dropping something. <laughs> Nice, nice. Matt Mattapelli dropped two because there's two fucking solo albums, I guess. I'm trying to see what else I have music wise. Oh shit. This one, uh this one's interesting. I'm gonna play this one. Uh these guys, like I, I found their music a while while back, and I haven't fucking heard from them in forever. And they messaged me out of the blue. And they're like, here's a music video. And I'm like, all right. They're called Fear Fear You. I forget where they said they're out of, but uh I guess they're, you know, they're they're up and coming. I'll, I'll say. Right. Um but yeah, this the music video is not fucking bad. It's called The Witness. Let's peep this shit out. Oh. 
So that was uh, Fear You with Are You Scared? Well, you know, I fucked with it. Or, 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 sorry, the co- song is called The Witness. I shouldn't just be naming people shit. Uh, but uh, yeah, you said, they're called Fear You, and I was like, Oh, Fear You is the name of the band. It's the name of the band. Oh, that wasn't the ti- that wasn't the song title. No, The Witness is apparently the name of the song. Okay. I fucked That's with it. I know. I know some people have the opinion that like certain horrorcore all sounds the same, but uh, I'm like that fucking that tick uh, the fucking TikTok of the kid who's eating the cookies. Like that's my favorite. That's that's how I yeah. feel when I listen to music, man. Everything's my favorite. <laughs> uh, which we need more motherfuckers like me out here. They just love music, you know. Yeah, fuck all the. I I don't understand why people hate the shit they they love, you know. Or love the shit that they now hate, for that matter, too. Right. Like that chick is it's weird dynamic these days, bud. Like, like I've heard that shit before, where they're like, "Oh, fucking, you like everything." I'm like, "And like, it, right. like, are you saying I'm too nice because I have a wider spectrum and my opinions are more positive?" <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, right. Uh, the only thing like that sometimes gets me, and I know this isn't their fault, is when a lot of artists use the same fucking beat. I get it. I do get it. It's just, it's hard when, like, I hear a banger from someone with that beat, and then I hear somebody else do it, and it's just, it's always gonna fall short, because the first one I heard. Right, you're comparing the songs the whole time. You can't even just enjoy them. Right, like, uh... Yeah, I only buy exclusive beats, exclusive rights all the time. No leases. Shout out to homie Gunsmoke, but, like, one of my absolute favorite tracks of his, somebody else has the same beat, and it's, like, somebody bigger. But like Gunsmoke's version will always be my favorite because uh, mm-hmm. the song is about being bipolar and I am bipolar. So like okay. I really fucking vibe and it just he kills it. Like he just kills it. I wish I had it fucking queued up so I could show you. But like he absolutely fuck- I played it on the channel probably a hundred times already. Okay, but uh fucking Ghost House says at Bartle Boss show, I have requests for your next track play Androponics is Whitney Payton through the wall remix. <sighs> I don't like to play remixes because like I know Andrew remixed it, but it's technically Whit- Whitney's song. Uh shout out to Russell Hood for fucking subscribing. Uh he probably didn't know I was gonna put him on blast like that, but yeah, it's up there. Uh, we all saw it. Uh I have played some uh MC whore. Uh I was just watching chopping it up earlier today. Uh I don't know about the artist that was on. No hate to him, but he was, you know, he's talking. I don't like, you know, like, you know, people calling out each other and shit. Right. I don't really, yeah. Except for spread the dead. Fuck that. Um. Anyway. <laughs> you know, fuck them. Whitney has even shared it, so you're good. Hell yeah. I'll have to, I'll have to queue it up in the way that I queue shit up, so that does take, like, a bit. So I might not be able to get it on this episode. But I definitely want to play some more Androponics. Actually, I don't even think I've asked Androponics if I could play shit. But uh, Androponics is the homie. I fuck with him. Are you familiar with uh, MC Snacks at all? No. So MC Snacks is probably the most positive. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it out there. He's probably the most positive Juggalo ever. <laughs> uh, he, all he all he raps about is like good feels and eating shit, like that's that's his whole gimmick he he's he doesn't even really do like he doesn't do juggalo rap he does kind of nerdcore a little bit okay. uh but he is he he we interviewed him way back when he just radiates positivity like you can't not be in a room with them and be smiling this homie oh, yeah. i'm over here just like verbally sucking his dick right now uh <laughs> you're such a good person uh anyway <laughs> somebody clip that uh <laughs> send, it, send it to snacks uh but he just put out a music video and it's been a minute and uh even the fucking thumbnail for this is just wild and i haven't seen it yet and i definitely want to share this one with y'all uh it's called the pizza ghoul so this is appropriate for you mcgruber ghosts and ghouls um I'm about to order pizza after this shit. Yeah, bro. We're in the silly <laughs> side. Of the, we're, on the, we're on the silly side of the show now. Y'all entered the fucking after dark section of the show. Oh. Where uh, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> anyway, this is the pizza ghoul. Hey, 
Have you ever seen a shadow run by? A trick of the light in the corner of your eye Or could it be a presence sharing your home? Ever feel deep down that you're not alone? What I give just to sleep in peace One night that I didn't sweep through my sheets That I wasn't tormented by what lies beneath This conniving beast who despises me He'll make you weary, he's a persecutor Your adversary, your lead accuser A fake diluter, he's a thief of joy A mercenary under hell's employ I see him in the wind I see him when I think, I see him in the mirror, I see him when I blink, I see him in the closet, I see him in the hall, if I listen real close, I can hear him in the wall, and I don't know if I'll make it through the night, I think this fight is gonna take my life, a parasite, he feeds off your bright, a giant pizza slice with a demon spite, and I don't know if I'll make it through the night, I'm sure this fight is gonna take my life, a parasite, he feeds off your bright, a giant pizza slice with a demon spite, Spike. Yeah, I'm a grown man and I live in fear Of an entity I can't prove is there I talk with doctors, I took the pills But my will the first, the only thing that kill So I pray to God, I know he listens I won't despair for this apparition I'll face this trial, look him in the eyes Hold on to truth and reject his lies And if it all comes crashing down Will I fall, will I make a sound? What will they think? Who will find me here? I'm sure the pizza dude will stand proud. Look to the day I forget his name and his face and his voice and his deadly games. Cause on that day, I'll know peace again. Even if it doesn't come till I meet my end. And I don't know if I'll make it through the night. I think this fight is gonna take my life. A parasite, he feeds off your bright. A giant pizza slice with a demon spite. And I don't know if I'll make it through the night. I'm sure this fight is gonna take my life. A parasite, he feeds off your bright. A giant pizza slice with a demon spite. Have you ever seen, ever, have you ever seen, ever seen a shadow run, run, run by? Okay, you fucking cut it up. Ever seen, ever seen a shadow run by, by, a trick of the light. shit he looked at us right bro i want that mask this mask was fresh for real but yeah that's an mc fucking Damn. mc uh what's that well Bad. let me uh let me learn how to talk that was mc snacks he is i will say the happiest most bubbly fucking juggalo ever uh hell yeah super fresh silly as fuck though i'd rather listen to that than a lot of shit you know Right. Sometimes you gotta hear like that fucking, you know, scum kill shit or like the dark half, you know, you gotta you gotta listen to some of that like legit horrorcore. Right. Just and especially like, lately, like sometimes you gotta dig back on you know what I mean, to get that scratch that you need. Right. You can't just then, like get some new shit and be like, Yeah, that was it. Like not all the time. Yeah, and then sometimes you gotta just, you know, listen to some goofy shit. You gotta listen right. to clockwork, flapjack, snacks. Oh, yeah. Uh other people. My homies Riff and Carrie. I can't I can't not mention Riff and Carrie. Those guys are the fucking goot like they're they're on some like you know, they're on some clockwork level shit. They're just not as known. But uh they okay. some goofy motherfuckers. They're they're my boys. I love those guys. Oh, yeah. right, but so, uh yeah, I'm familiar. Let me ask you this: Who who should I have on the channel next? Because I I know, you, you know, you know a lot of artists. Who do you think I should have come on? Clown around. Um, have you have you had Dead DZ on yet? I have not. Dead DZ's at the top of my list. Um, he's putting the seasoning on his shit right now. You know what I mean? He's he's cooking. I know he put a single out with you. Uh, I ha actually have it loaded up. Yeah, if you yeah he's working it. on his shit right now. He's he's working, so <clears throat> I feel like that'd be pretty cool. Maybe towards one of his releases to have you hop on, you know, have him hop on and bullshit with you for a while. Hell yeah, um, I'll definitely reach out. If I'm not playing somebody too, I want to fucking play as many people that aren't yeah. on some fuck. There's a very 
small selection of people I won't play because they're on some fuck shit. But other than that, I'll play. Right. You know, if if you're legit and you want fucking twenty people to see your music, <laughs> hit me up. Uh, yeah, and also um, HB the Grizzly. Oh, I've been wanting one. HB. I've been wanting HB on. I just I, I suck at reaching out a lot of times. I usually just make a post like, "Who wants to come on?" And like, I fill up my month so fucking fast. Right. Okay. Yeah, she might be down, man. See what she's got yeah. going on. Zitro, I know you were in the chat earlier. Uh, definitely want to get you on. Yeah. Uh, all of Ghost House. Looking at you, McGruber. Looking yep. at you, McGruber. Get your ass Andy on here. On here. Abe LinkedIn, Andro. I love Abe LinkedIn. Uh, fuck. So, shout out to homie Clooner, who also we've interviewed a handful of fucking times. Fucking Clooner. But I love Clo- Clooner and Zitro and Abe LinkedIn did a fucking song together. And uh, I was not expecting it, but in the song, Clooner actually says, like, uh, I'm a boss like Bartle. And I'm like, holy shit, I'm in a Clooner song. And not just a Clooner song, but it's a Clooner song that has Abe LinkedIn and fucking Zitro on it. Wow. So, uh, I'm dope. Jug of Famous is what I'm trying to say. I'm better than, Ooh. you know, everybody. Everybody. Yeah. I'm getting adopted by Jay. Fuck y'all. <laughs> um, bro, I know, like, you know, Thuggalo Show had Jay on and, you know... Uh, Spread the dead be having all these big names and other people be having big names. Fuck that. I want y'all little guys because uh, I don't think Jay's gonna take me saying some like weird fuck shit. Like, I do get kind of cringe all the time. I'm cringe. I, don't know. I didn't hear anything cringe you said, so you called me a little guy. So I appreciate it. <laughs> I called you little guy. When did I do that? You're yeah, like, you, I like to work with you little guys. Oh, yeah. Um, you know what I mean. Yeah, I know. Like, you're not, you're not ICP. Right. But that's good because I'm not Nardwar. <laughs> right. I'm fat yeah, this Nardwar. motherfucker McGruber, my fucking manager, punched Jay in his face one time, and that was a story. Fuck. Yeah. Bro, everybody has an issue with Jay. I know Jay does. No, it wasn't shit. an issue. It was like a it was a thing. I don't know if he wants me to tell it all. It wasn't like a beef thing, but it wasn't a beef situation, but oh, okay. he got punched in the face. Bro, I love Jay, but it, as Blazy Boys pointed out, I'm scared when I finally meet the motherfucker, he's going to be like, what's all this shit about you saying Hell's Pit is trash? And I'll be like, oh, my bad, dog. That would just be one more comment. You know what I mean? I don't think you'd yeah. hold it that close to his heart, bro. I'll, I'm just clowning. I'm just clowning. Oh, yeah. uh, bro, I, if anybody who knows me knows, though, like, I simp for Jay. Like, uh, I want to get him high on ketamine <laughs> and make out with him. Uh, clip that. Uh <laughs> My, yeah, mine wasn't an issue. It was a thing I worked uh for Clay. Hell yeah, yeah, you work for Clay. Clay's Clay's dope. Yeah, that's hell that's yeah. All that's all I got to say about that. Uh, <laughs> but uh, hey, we're hitting two and a half hours here. I, there's one more song I absolutely want to play. But before we do that, um, before we kind of end out the show, um, what do you got going on? Where can people find your music? Uh, any shout outs all the all the fun uh you know okay closing out shit um basically straight up roll the dice drop on april 27th is the album you can pre-order right now at the ghost house entertainment store um which you can find my master link on instagram in my bio you can click that all from youtube spotify itunes you know you can find all my links all my merch show updates and um yeah bro 216 zay on all platforms easy search easy google search um okay. i want to shout out apollo exodus and my producer Lodi for putting in so much work on my album um we there were you know countless nights it wasn't just like it wasn't super fast you know you had to put a little time into it um shout out uh white out shout out mcgruber ghost Sucks entertainment um, shout out everybody on the label, Big Sherm, Andro, everybody. Um, and I appreciate you for having me up here. I haven't had, I haven't even had like an, a homie type interview or a full blown, just, you know, somebody I don't know interview in a long time. So I was just back to, yeah. to get for a while. 
Man, I'm glad to have you. Oh, yeah, bro. Shit. So I have the best song to end out tonight. It's Closing Time by Semi Sun. No, it's not. Uh, uh, so I, real, real, real tangent here. But uh, there's a guy that hit me up a while back named J. Crow. And uh, unfortunately, I, I haven't kept up with him or anything. But he sent me like a juggalo ass cover of, of Closing Time. Still to this day, one of my favorite fucking things ever. Really? Yeah. Where's it at? You know what? Fuck it. That's how we're ending the show. Uh, <laughs> I, I think I've done this like at least. There's two things that I always either end the show with. It's it's there's a Wicked Wood song called See Me Shine that I like to end the show with. Okay. Or uh this fucking closing time song. So uh let's do that. And it's gonna take me a hot second to fucking pull it up. So everybody who's already left because the show's ending, they're gonna miss it. Uh, they're gonna miss it. You fucked up. Or they've probably heard it a thousand times, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Also, I'm probably gonna get you know copyright strikes. Right. Fuck. Where the fuck is this? J. Crow, if you're watching, help help me out. Uh, closing time. There you it is. fucked up. You fucked up. You right. fucked up. My whole show is fucking up. You know, if it's if it's not me fucking up, it's like the artist comes in and they can't. Their mic don't work, or right. they can't hear me. Or uh, yeah, I always forget to tell people. Like tonight, I forget to tell you. You got to copy the link and put it in the browser instead of just clicking it. Yeah, and I'm here last minute. Like this is very unprofessional. Trying to like get it. <laughs> like fuck, I should have done this ten minutes ago. If so I, I knew what the fuck I was doing. I think I've only ever had like five or six people come in early. To be fair, everybody's on you know juggle of time, which I hate that. I hate that phrase. Uh, yeah, yeah. I meant to come in earlier, but I, I literally took a nap and then woke up to my alarm and I was like, oh yeah, 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 popped up. Oh, you good? I I wasn't. I would have just ran the show and been like, he'll get here when he gets here. Right. Two hours, two hours later. Anyway, I hope y'all have a great fucking night. We're ending it off with Jay Crow's version of Closing Time. Featuring uh, some other guy that's cut off right now. But my bad. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Closing time. One last call for alcohol. So finish your whiskey a beer. Closing time. You can't stay here Closing time, we're gonna hit the bar Get some shots and then hit the car We gon' go to my house at the party I got any PBR, it's a lemon Bacardi All the homies here, steady smoking loud I'm high as a kite and I'm never coming down Swinging life to the fullest every single day Living stress free, put my sorrows in vain I don't give a fuck about the petty shit I just sound another shot into the ball, so this just took a fall, titties popping out a brawl, and the whole place saw, everybody kinda buzzed, everybody is your fam, everybody is your cuz, ain't no fighting or hating or faking, we just some players with chicks getting naked, and we kick drunk as shit for the chicks and the homies alike, my spit hits drunk and blitzed every time on the mic I'm cold, and yes I drink by the bottle or two, probably last man standing at the party with you, I tell you go up in my trunk, it's another case of proof, we could keep this fucker going with the rest of the crew, now I'm looking for a chick who's feeling 
fiending for the drunken dick Ain't no problem getting stiff, it's like 100% Plus the whole party drunk, everybody falling out This was one for the books, mate, without a fucking doubt I just found another bottle, took it straight to the face I stumble and I hobble, trying to walk out the place These females looking good, trying to get me a taste Then I fucked it all up, asking them about the race Ain't nobody go to jail, ain't nobody have to brawl Time to shut this fucker down, man, I guess it's last call I got pounds for the real, middle fingers for the fake Plus I bless my dear homies every shot that I take Closing time One last call for alcohol So finish your whiskey up here Closing time You don't have to go home But you can't stay here Hell yeah I had to check I was muted like that whole song because I was singing like a fucking fool over here. Uh, that would have went viral. Oh, really? sure. But that's Don't the mind. show. Go check out fucking 216 A. Go check out Ghost House Entertainment. Go Yo. check out everybody else hey, we play tonight. Fuck. Yeah. Good call time, bro. Mom. Call your mom. Call your mom. Call other, other juggalo shit. Whoop, whoop. Uh, yeah. and yeah, that's yeah, bye. I guess, oh, yeah, bro.